Um, <laughs> so, I mean, oh, I had a really good burn of Stephen a minute ago, and then we all looked for Paul, but Paul's not here. Uh, I'm really, <laughs> really sorry, guys, and now he's why you come to Roll the Damn Dice. But thank you for coming back uh, to From the Ashes, uh, the new season of from Roll the Damn Dice. Uh, Eagle eyed viewers may notice that there's a few less of us today, and I'm going to do the same joke again. This isn't scripted. I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> and if you're listening from the future, I do apologise about the cyborg bees. They were the only way to deal with the laser snakes. You've oh. got to do what you've got to do. Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we edit shit. <laughs> as long as we're having fun. So I yeah. uh, apologise we're in a better place. <laughs> <laughs> the honeymoon. Uh, Cancun. And Cancun. Uh, yes. <laughs> the honeymoon in Cancun. And um, Luke is unfortunately ill. Um, so you got the three best players that anyone had. And I'm not really even a player, I'm just here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just... Yeah, you get a jacket after three sessions. <laughs> oh, okay, that's yeah. right. Um, so I'm going to stop dicking about that. Uh, and we're going to have everyone introduce themselves. And then we're going to roll for recaps. <gasps> Yeah, so from uh, my left. Oh. Hi, my name's Stephen. I am playing Prince Janaeus of Frindel, the Hexadin Warlock Paladin um, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and I have absolutely nothing witty to say because I was caught off guard with this, so moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Tony. Uh, I will be playing the uh, I'll play Oriana, the Tiefling Rogue. I resident I should did a, didn't I didn't introduce her class or anything last time. But yeah, she is a Tiefling Rogue called Oriana and um, I was gonna say something funny and I forgot what it is, something about caffeine and being tired, but <laughs> you all <laughs> see that. <laughs> oh we are winning. We are winning <laughs> today. Um, hi, I'm Moa and I am playing Lily Lixa Clamphathmernic. She is a gnome druid circle of spores, yay for necromancy. Um, and uh, I'm having a crisis about whether or not I destroyed imaginary people's homes last week. So, I yeah, apparently I did. Um, so yeah, that's me. Sad about imaginary shit. <laughs> and I'm Connor, the DM, and much like oxygen in a broken spaceship, all of our talent apparently was sucked out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! What happened? Hey, I'm saving it for the performance. Yes, like Janaeus is yeah. going to be great oh, tonight. Gonna be like I'm, I'm, I'm not, but Janaeus is. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so a little shout out, quick thank you to our sponsor, Critic. Um, actually, the name of the title, the title of the episode, the name of the title of the episode that we're playing today is inspired by something they created for us. So, stick around and find out. I don't know what that is. Oh, you, oh you're I wasn't right. listening. <laughs> we stick around to find out. Yeah. I will. Well, now I have no other reason. <laughs> Molly's going to check out the break, but... I was literally about to walk out the door. <laughs> so... Shall we roll for recaps, people? Yes, I'm going to roll some critic dice, I reckon. So am I. Sure, if you want some critic dice, I wish there was a way to get like, a discount. Oh, oh that would oh, be so amazing. Good. 10% yeah. would be really good. Oh, 10%, 10 just, just takes it down to that perfect price point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Guys! <laughs> what funny you should mention that. <laughs> what? what? We have a discount code. If you use RTDD10 at a discount on at the, discount, at the checkout on critic.co.uk, you get 10% off. Oh, amazing! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry! <laughs> my my dice so tray also acts as a Skittles <laughs> tray, because D&D &D needs snacks. You can't get Skittles using this no. discount code, yeah, unfortunately. No. Other sweets are available. <laughs> right, roll the damn dice, though. Yeah, baby! Oh. 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 oh, okay, Janaeus, or Stephen, whoever yeah. you want to, which way you want to look at it, 12. Five. Six! Oh. I don't know how to do it! Hey, that is an honour, a privilege, and your grandkids will be telling stories about this for generations. <laughs> Stephen, you're a lucky boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, cool. Hey guys. So, before we recap the episode, I just wanted to say, if you're watching, why don't you give us a follow on Twitch? Or, if you really like it, why not subscribe? Um, 
you can have access to our Discord uh, once you've subscribed to um, us on Twitch and talk all things World of the Damn Dice. Um, if you're watching over on YouTube, why not give us a like or maybe even a comment? We'd love to hear what you have to say about the episode. And if you really like what we're doing, why not go over to Kofi and drop us a little donation, maybe for coffee or maybe for bottles of liquid to put in the background. I don't know. Um, anyway, enjoy the show. Uh, Thank you. We'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> You oh, and Stephen, you rehearsed that so well. Like, oh, I'm so impressed. I knew so it was really coming at you. some point, but I just knew I had to get it like word perfect. Yeah, because Stephen wrote that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's been getting us to like be like, oh yeah, guys, rehearse everyone, it rehearse like, speech. Yeah, make sure you like deliver it. Like, yeah. really put some feeling. You in did it. Like, you you did it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All the performance of a porn script. <laughs> Another <little> pleasure. Yay! <laughs> the only reason I'm doing this is to get into that industry. So, <laughs> oh, what so, happened? Oh, well, oh, last week. So, do do do. Arian, Lily, and Janaeus found themselves in an alleyway where carts were dropped and they were completely blocked in. Hooded figures approached them and said. Why don't you peacefully come with us? Because somebody wants to have a word with you, fishman. I don't like how much fish and fish boy and fishman's being thrown around, but we'll get to that later. Um, a fight ensues. Um, it seems pretty straightforward to begin with, but they started throwing smoke at us, which blinded all three of us. It's okay. Janaeus had magic wind powers to get rid of all of that smoke. Then the smoke came back, <laughs> um, and I could only win once. Um, so didn't eat enough beans. Right, was blinded. Lily was going in with the necrotic stuff. She was literally like, "Your soul is mine," and then people were like life forces withering away. Um, Arian, who's not feeling quite up to snuff at the moment, um, was getting in people's heads, and they were just seeing images of fireballs in hell and stuff. Um, Janaeus missed quite a bit, but when he did hit the lead rat. Um, the guy was dead. Um, however, it wasn't quite the end of the fight, but luckily, Aid came in a nine foot tall man um, in the name of Atlas, who is part of the Syndicate of the Seven. One of the good guys, it seems, um, depending <laughs> which way you're looking at it. Meanwhile, let's just pick up the camera and fly over to the other part of the plug hole. Where Torin, you said that, yeah, yeah, Stelman. Um, where Torin and Frayne are continuing their date, um, they decide to barter with a minotaur, um, a minotaur blacksmith. Um, they begin to do a load of stuff for him, and then are really cheeky about wanting, like, uh, well, we want to have borrowed equipment, so I'm going to intimidate you to lower the price. Then they start going through the bag of holding, which has all of our collective money in, and start stashing it for themselves. I mean, if Janaeus like, ever finds out about this, there will be words. Anyway, so they have a really weird day. Um, then they go to a shop where Torin was temporarily tempted to hook up with a Janassi, but then remembered he was there to buy Frayne a present to show <laughs> to show her his love for him, her or him. Or that's very confusing now. Um, so they continue on their little date, and uh, Torin presents Crane with the necklace. Then they get sucked into a portal. Um, so that's where that episode ended, but on the other side of the island, Atlas takes Janaeus for a wonder as Lily and Arian make their way to Arian's friend's office. Um, Janaeus is told that he needs to go and speak to somebody about getting them away from the plug hole, because Atlas doesn't want them around the plug hole in no uncertain terms. Um, Janaeus swims out and he meets the wonderful um, Oriana. Doesn't know that because apparently that's a needs to know basis. But don't worry, because where Janaeus wants to go is also a needs to know basis. Those two are getting on like a house on fire. Um, and that's pretty much all that happens, yeah? They yeah. discussed the three ways of getting out. Oh, the <laughs> there are three ways out of the plug hole. There is the main gate out of the plug hole, which takes you out, out of the, the plug, plug hole. hole. Um, there is the Triton's Grasp which is not recommended. Lots of dodgy uh, pirate folk could be Enrico. Mm. Um, or, there's 
Airship. 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 Airship.
and you know, oh, oh, thank you. And she'll kind of go to pat the spiritual, like healing spirit dog on on its head, and then it'll just kind of disappear, dis disapparate, yeah. um, dissipate, mm. um, and little little green spores will just kind of yeah. disappear in a poof. Right then. Uh... Oh, that was, a nice, that was a nice bit of magic, Bunny. Oh, thanks. Did, I mean, you, you, hang on, you, you said you didn't want any. I, 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 I can appreciate the magic, though. It's, oh. it's, it's nice. Oh, thanks. It's, it took a while. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured we weren't in any, any imminent harm anymore. Um, so you've got to just, every now and again, you've got to kind of take what you can. I really, I really feeling a bit sort of like you know when you just really want to sit on a patch of grass <laughs> yes yes I do I think there's too much cement and and, and hard surfaces and I, I feel like itchy for grass right uh, so are you turning into Janaeus <laughs> itchy for grass Got it. Um, but hang on, we we've got to go to your artificer friend, haven't we? Are you are you okay? I'm fine. And as you look at him, he's clearly not fine. Yeah. You, you, you don't look fine. No. No offence or anything. Um, I'm aware that that's not a very nice thing to say. In not in that you don't look good. You mm. just you look dashing, I suppose. But like you just don't look well. None taken, <laughs> I think. None given. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> um, and for a brief second, you see um, the illusionary Aryan sort of drop, and the underside Aryan come Ooh. through. Um, it, it's a flicker, yeah. um, but you see the sort of undead version of Aryan underneath just break through the facade. Like a. Oh. Um. All fine. So I'm okay. I don't. I I'm very happy with 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 how you look. Um, but I'm aware you're a bit wary of of, of exposing yourself. <laughs> no, of of, yeah. of 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 sharing that mm. element of yourself with with other people. Um, but I I saw it. Um, are you, is your is the spell not working? I think I'm just a little tired. If I I'm think honest. we need to get you to your friend who can, um, maybe, he, 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 you said he's quite clever, um, maybe he can help you. Yes, he, uh, he, he, he was the one who did uh, these, actually, he started putting the various runes on his body. Whoa! Oh, wow! I, 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 I don't know why, I just thought you, that, I think you born with them or you kind of done them yourself it seemed impolite to ask i mean uh tried doing a couple myself i shan't show you them they're a bit shoddy um better to get a professional uh, you should yeah when it comes to marking yourself permanently with magical yeah, 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 yeah. It, it seems like you should have someone who knows what they're doing with a sterile a sterile environment, environment. Yeah. yeah absolutely we don't you shouldn't try these things at home stick and poke enchantments no <laughs> <laughs> and he brushes himself off he's like shall we yes i mean you know where we're going so mm -hmm. lead the way and he takes a step and just buckles a little like and she'll just kind of go and sort of well she's she'll kind of prop him up as much she'll sort of hold up against his hip um <laughs> and and prop him up as much as possible and she'll be like do you want do you want the staff oh if just for, if just for the minute would it mind that yeah minute. just while we walk i mean not and she'll kind of have a little moment of no you won't have it forever it's fine it's fine <laughs> I, I would never take this from you oh um, no she, that, oh, did I say that out loud? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> um, oh no! I trust you. I trust you, Arian. Um, and she'll uh, sort of hand him the staff, so he's got something to like lean on. Yeah, and that's like five and a half. So it's a big old staff. Isn't yeah, it? it's five. It's five foot, and she's yeah. two and a half. Foot. Yeah, so it's massive for her. <laughs> it looks like it 
Yeah, it belongs to someone Aryan size. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he sort of puts a lot of your weight onto it. It's like, uh, uh, thank, thank, thank you. Right, it, it's actually not far. It's uh, just up here and uh, take a right at the end uh, and you should see uh, the, the building. Uh, it's, uh, it's called Molesty. Molesty? Okay, off we go. And she'll sort of start marching um, oh. and then be like, oh my god, I'm the, I'm the fast one for a change. Yeah, he'll take off and he's like several paces behind. And she's gonna not really know how this is. It's like, oh, wow. Hey, he just kind of beams at you. He's like, oh. you're taking his own pace. Yeah, and she'll she'll slow her pace and walk with him. Good. So yeah, as you're around the corner um, of the, so come out back onto the street through the alleyway. Um, the shops themselves are quite run down. They're not anything particularly special, and you probably wouldn't, without Arian's help, have maybe noticed it or even taken a second glance at it. Um, the the sign on Relasti is pretty standard. Um, it's sort of a cobbled together mismatch of stone with um, uh, like a, a wooden sign. The only thing that sort of stands out on the sign is there is a seal on it. Uh, so it says Relasti, and what would be a full stop. Uh, is a tiny, um, tiny for the sun, uh, probably maybe a couple of inches, maybe about six inches high, um, like Phoenix. Mm. And that is the only sort of thing of note on, on the actual shop itself. It's pretty run down. The, the, the windows are almost like boarded esque of like shabby chic, shall we say? <laughs> yeah. Very bohemian. <laughs> Mm. Boho chic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's probably really trendy nowadays. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm, I can see it in Shoreditch. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's either <laughs> worth millions yeah. or it's all charity yeah. we're, not, yeah. we're not sure. Anthropology, is that a bit too far? Like, Maybe a bit, bit, bit out of the front yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. It's closer to the centre of the play hall, I think. <laughs> Maybe urban outfitters. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, urban. <laughs> um, yes, yeah. so just make your way Yeah. I see. So uh, yeah, he uh, hobbles along and um, a little bit of pace is picked up as he sort of sees his destination. It's like that last sprint of a mm. thing. You're like, I can get there, I can get there, I can get there. And starts, uh, yeah, uh, moving his way across and opens the door and gentlemanly lets you in first. Oh, oh thank you. Uh, and as you look, he's sort of just leaning on the door. <laughs> <laughs> it looked really he's sort of chivalrous at first. He's kind of clutching the door for him. And she, she's not going to comment, she's just going to, like, be polite and sort of not make him feel mm. self-conscious. Excellent. So, as you go in, it's, it's dark inside. Uh, everything's sort of lit by a very low level candlelight. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's going through several points in the room. There are brackets on the walls hiding the torches. With, they should have, like, big braziers in there, but they're just, like, single candles. Um, they are, like floating in place almost. Um, and yeah, you walk in the room, everything's quite dark, and then you hear a uh, and all the lights go uh, and it becomes very bright in there. Um, oh, good day, good day. Uh, welcome to Relax. Aaron? Aaron, is that you? Um, and it's this half-elf, very sort of wizened, Old elderly looking half elf. He's got a really kind face, but his features are sort of uh, like crow's feet and like lap lines all over. Um, his head a frizzy mop of like silver. It's tied very loosely with a ribbon, sort of about halfway down his back. Um, he's like, Good heavens, what, what happened to you? Um, he starts making way over to the both of you. Well, so we were we were accosted by some ratty men and and and. <laughs> Waiting to get in, <laughs> like a word. <laughs>
stressed and scared, um, and Arian is a little worse for wear, you might say. And, and as you're having this barrage <laughs> of, of, of speech, um, the, the door behind you, um, the, 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 sorry, the entrance door to the, to the outside, starts feeling really warm, um, like really warm, like a, a, a burning fire is behind you. And it, it, as you start feeling it on your back, and then it's sort of pressing into the room, uh, and almost to punctuate the end of your sentence, Ari just collapses into the, like, into the shop front. Uh, front. Oh! Oh, heavens! Ah! Uh, uh, grab an arm! Oh! Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, 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 um, and she'll, she'll run over and, uh, pick up, pick up an arm and, and, and the one in the try and, like, pull him. Let's have a, let's have a strength. Yeah, uh, yeah let's no. see how that goes. <laughs> Minus one on strength. Um, thirteen. Look, I got seventeen. So uh, okay. the, the, the old man and the gnome <laughs> do a decent job. Adrenaline is not to be messed no. with. No. You both just pick him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pale Huffley. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, you, you bring him into the shop. Uh, there's a counter sort of halfway um, like in the room. There's sort of like a not like in a kitchen uh, or like an a, island. Uh, like, yeah, but like in a kitchen warehouse shop. And you've got like a, like everything is sort of around the outside, and there's yeah. just one like little desk in the middle where you yeah. operate from. Uh, it's sort of like that. So the, the inside is um, like limestone and marble, uh, it has like, rooms running across like most of the various appliances from around. Like the neon is not in the room, it's like mm. absolute nonsense. And then there's just a little like wooden desk, and it's very plain that's in the middle. Um, and together you sort of get Arian up on the desk, and um, the half elf just throws everything off the desk. Like there's no sort of consideration for what was on their position. They just clear desk, friend on. And 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 that'll be like, oh 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 no oh 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 and <laughs> just lots of little noises of like she doesn't want to like intrude. Obviously, yeah. like she doesn't actually like, can't. I can't like she doesn't know his name, does no. she? No. No, she doesn't. No. But yeah, it's just gonna be the sort of like well, loads of. Like whirly bobs and thingamajigs and yeah. like crystals floating and puffing, extruding smoke. Uh, and yeah, he, um, he pulls out this little crystal, uh, it looks almost like a quill, but it's one solid one crystal and just starts like marking things around his body and tapping him in various places. Uh, it seems to be sort of lost in thought, um, almost like you're not there for a moment. Um, and Lily, like, she's gonna sort of shrink a little bit in terms of like she doesn't know what's going on and she can't help mm -hmm. um, with this. It's not a it's not a magic or a language that she knows mm. or is familiar with, so it's very much like a, oh gosh, um, okay, I'm actually going to try, I'm just going to shut up and... You managed it. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Why? Um, so, uh, yeah, after a couple of moments, it feels like a much longer bit, moments must have passed, and she says, uh, grab me the crystal from the side, uh, over there. Um, and he points to, so it looks sort of like a, almost like an egg, uh, like an obsidian egg. Um, and she's on the other side of the room. Oh, oh, okay! And she'll, she'll run over and, and grab it and, and yeah. run back over and hand it to him. Doesn't even he takes it, uh, puts it next to Ari and puts his hand on it and suddenly it just starts like turning from jet black to almost like fire opal. He's like, oh, I don't have any more. Uh, and he's like, uh, what do you what do you know of Arian? What give me the uh, what's happened recently to him? Oh, no more. I have to remember. <laughs> oh. You thought you were getting out the recap. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't even a recap. This is like <laughs> shit. What happened a year ago? Um, pretty much as as we played it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh. So, okay. Well. Um. So well, we we met a while ago, um, and and he sort of uh, he was in disguise at one point, and then and then he died, but then he came back, and 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 then he's he really likes fire, um, but and and his his runes light up a lot, and um, all, yes, all I know is that he has this this ability to die, and he's he doesn't remember very much, and um, he can't remember it much of his past, and then sometimes he'll. He'll remember things, and it's a little bit ominous and nerve-wracking. Um, and I think there's phoenixes involved, but I don't know. Um, and 
and and and and I'm realising I've been really self-involved and only worrying about my own stuff. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I just picked something you might resonate with. Anyways, yeah. keep up. Um, that seed would break. If the tree were to grow from the seed, the seed would break to make the tree. Yes. Yes. These keep the tree in. The runes. The runes keep the tree in. Okay. So Arian can take from the tree. Right. It's not his tree. Oh. Whose tree is it? I don't know. There's a tree inside Arian. I feel but like it's a metaphorical <laughs> tree. Yes. So there's a metaphorical tree inside Arian who is a seed. I feel like I'm confused with the metaphor. It's like, <laughs> just, just a lead, yes. Okay. He's... So there's like an energy. Yes, yes, an energy. Okay, you didn't. I know, listen, I know I'm small and I like trees, but you don't need to make, like, I, I feel like the tree just distracted me because now I'm wondering if it's an oak or a maple. The last time we did this was a chicken and an egg. And okay. So we got very confused as to which came first, and it just. Yeah. No. no. So there is a magical energy that is contained in Arian, yes. and he draws on that. But if he draws too much or the magic gets too big, he dies. Yes, it would. In theory, so Arian has his own magic. Yes. Arian has this other magic. Yes. And I fear that if this magic were to get out fully, it would take his magic with it. <gasps> so, and you don't know who this other, ma what this other magic is? No. Okay. Um, I don't know how to help you with that. <laughs> I wasn't looking for help. Okay. <laughs> 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 Sorry, it's my ear fixer. I just feel like I have responsibility over a lot of different things um, that aren't necessarily things that I can do anything about. Um, breathe. Yeah. Breathe. In. Out. In. <laughs> and what I'm doing is kind of tracing runes on, um, <laughs> like clicks again, and this, um, like, sort of four legged looking creature to, that you realise to be a chair. Um, walks up behind you and sits itself under you, so you fall back onto it. Oh, right. Thank you. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> he clicks again, and um, this like little like helicopter looking like teapot comes along uh, with two sort of uh, teacups beside. Okay, Lily is 
like she's getting proper learning vibes. Yeah, she's like she's at home now, like with like gadgets around mm-hmm. her and like weird stuff doing things it shouldn't be doing. It's like she's weirdly not like it's making her weirdly nostalgic yeah. for being like surrounded by all of this like gadgetry. So with your ooh, uh, give me a just straight intelligence check. Or a history check, your choice. Um intelligence. Um just straight so not a saving throw. No, just your modifier. Seventeen. Um so this stuff is almost monic level. Like there are intricacies to the magic that he's, that he's doing that is very, very high level. Everything looks sort of crude, but the actual enchantment itself mm. and the, the, the tech that is being made as a result of it is very high, very, very high level. Um, yeah, sort of medic level, if not maybe some of the better medic stuff you've seen, rather than some of the more mass reduced. Mm. Um, but crude to be sort of executed. And she she won't say, she won't say yeah. anything. She'll but it'll be a and she'll take the teapot, flip the, the helicopter teapot, um, and have a sort of sit on the chair. Like, oh, um, okay. So what's happened to Arian now? I'm not. Sure. Don't even need to mine a teapot. No, you can't. Yeah. Um, I, I think he used a lot of the tree recently. Just say energy. <laughs> I'm not <thick. laughs> He used a lot of his energy recently. I think. Uh, I think. Uh, I, I apologize. I didn't mean to insult. In, so, uh, <laughs> uh, and as you look at him, he's he's shaken. Like he's visibly like worried. The hand that is over Harry is just mm. like he, he, this side of his body, the left hand side of his body is to you, and he's making a good show of yeah. being soft. But the side facing away from you is trembling. Mm. Um, he's like, ah, sorry. Um, he, uh, I think he used a lot of himself recently. And well, yeah, because he like, I think it, uh, yeah, it was him. He like transported us back to his office, which I think you were quite involved in. We can't do that. Um, we didn't finish the enchantment to... We shouldn't do that. Shouldn't be able to do that. Well, I know that if it weren't for him, we wouldn't have got that. So I don't know how he did it. I can't... I, I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm really sorry. I think he did, but he might have had some help. Give me a history with advantage. Um, uh, 17. 17. Um, so as you're, um, as you're, yeah, as you've got the tea in your hand and you're thinking about what happened, and you're like, I can't remember, I can't remember, I can't, you remember being weightless. Remember the act of teleporting is something that you've probably done as a child with your parents, mm. had that familiar feeling. And then something in mid teleport split, like started splitting you all apart. You, it was more of a feel than a sea, but like you briefly weren't. Just weren't. You, you stopped existing briefly. And there was a flash of fire, and everything sort of coalesced, and then you woke up. But there was a brief period where you just weren't. (laughs) (laughs) Cup of tea. Yeah, me too. (laughs) Um, I was having episode three. (laughs) My cup of tea is cold. (laughs) Um, No, uh, she's just she'll she'll be sitting there, cup of tea in hand. Kind of, oh, wide-eyed. So, I think, um, so, um, there was, 
I think so. We were we were teleporting. We were we were we were teleporting, and then we weren't, and then we were again. Right. We and she'll try and. So at one point we didn't exist, and then we did, and and I think there was it was very hot, and there was flame, and then. And then three days later, we woke up in Arian's study. That, 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 no, that should, no, that shouldn't be possible. Listen, I'm just giving you what I know, mister. Uh, I don't even know your name. Uh, so, I'm so sorry. It's Gellistin. Hello, Gellistin. How do I you feel spell like that? Oh, Past hello. You just told me you didn't exist. You don't know my name. Um, oh, I, I'm quite tangential like that. Um, sometimes... This turns to be wide-eyed. <laughs> sometimes, um, when, when you... Have you ever heard of dissociation? When you get a lot of big news and then you just are like, I wonder if I forgot to turn the kettle off. Um, and you, you need to get a hold of things that are like more substantial and like real world. Yeah. Weekly. Mm. Yeah, that's that's me just generally. Right. <laughs> um, Good to meet you. Yeah. Hi, Gellistin, Lily. Um. Uh, so yeah, we we we, we didn't exist. <laughs> it's weird. Huh? I teleported just straight normal teleporting. Yeah. To a yeah. Place. We were like it was that it was a standard weightlessness. Just kind of waiting to poof back to the place where you were planning on going. Um, but then in the middle, we just didn't exist. That's weird, isn't it? Oh. Huh? <laughs> Are you familiar with uh, uh, the plane theory? <laughs> Am I? And he gets really sort of big eyed and like, oh boy. <laughs> Am I? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, as in like, um. No. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go straight to a tree analogy then. <laughs> um, so, we exist simultaneously, in theory, with several other planes of existence. There is ours, the material, there is uh, uh, the Feywilds, for example, it's a little plane. Uh, there is a bigger version of that plane elsewhere. The Feywilds is a little gateway to a big plane. Big universe. Big version of it. Yeah, but but not here. Okay. Like a sandwich. And there are several others stacked on top of each other where they all coexist in the same space universally. Uh, okay, you lost me at sandwich. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine we're... No, no, ignore the sandwich. Ignore the sandwich. Okay. Ignore the tree. Ignore the seed. Um, okay. So, we all exist simultaneously in one space in theory. Um, mm. But we can't c interact until those spaces become very, very, very thin, okay. such as the Feywilds, which mm -hmm. allows us to move to a bigger space, a different space. Yes. Space. Okay. Right. Now, if you were teleporting to the same space and that same space were no longer there, what would happen? Wait, you were, you're teleporting to the same place, but the same place doesn't exist. Exactly. So you wouldn't exist. Exactly. Oh! So you have been split across every plane, and every time, so nowhere, and everywhere, and somewhere. Okay. And then, uh, maybe you were all pulled across every other bit and bob and reassembled? I don't know, it's just a theory. Um, okay, so when, when, when Arian was trying to get us to the study, and we, uh, what, what was it that, tried to pull us apart. The fact that we were going somewhere that suddenly didn't exist, but he wouldn't have tried to take us somewhere that didn't exist because he was trying to take us to his study. Um, mm. Unless he wasn't trying to take us to his study, unless he was trying to take us to the place we were supposed to go, which was... I... And she's tr like, she was about to be like, tell him where they were going, and it's like, do I tell him where we were going? He's obviously like in the know, and he knows Arian stuff, and he's like, Arian's very hush hush about all of that. And so, and then the show. So we were going, we were going to Corellan's Wood, which is Fay 
yes. related, yes. like yes. adjacent. Lovely destination. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and... Great this time of year. <laughs> so, are you saying that the Feywilds briefly didn't exist? Um, or Corrennan's Wood didn't exist? I'm not saying that, I'm saying it could. I'm speaking in non definites. So it's a theory. Right. But potentially. Potentially, you set off there, you mm-hmm. started making your way there, and that was, I don't know, removed, deleted, got rid of something. Okay. So, wherever we were going didn't exist briefly or ever? And he just kind of shrugs it, yeah. I don't know. Because now it's like, oh my god, has Karenin's wood been deleted? Is Karenin's wood not in existence? Frame! I mean, I know she talks about not liking her family very much, but I know she'd be real sad if they were all dis- like just non-existent anymore. Um. Oh. Oh. And she's just gonna like she's just gonna be there like rocking slightly on the chair like. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and this sort of like little hummingbird decanter comes on. Like, stronger than tea. Oh, I. I shouldn't really. The last time I tried drinking something that was stronger than tea, I I, I nearly I don't know what would have happened. And he grabs it and drinks it himself. And like, that wasn't for you, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick to tea. Um, hmm. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff going on that we mm. don't understand yet. Mm. I think I need. I think I. I think I need to find. Um. Janaeus, um, I, I don't know how much more he'll understand. Well, no, maybe I should find Frayne. I think Frayne would know, <laughs> would know more than, than Janaeus. Um, she's, she tends to know about these things. Um, oh, maybe Torin. I don't think, and then she's like, are any of us particularly intellectual? <laughs> but for, I mean, from Lily's perspective, like, they're all like super worldly and all knowing and, and, um, intelligent. Okay, well, Janaeus is a prince, like, surely he must know some things about, about trans, transport, maybe, okay, oh, right, I think I need to find the rest of my friends, um, because I'm not equipped to handle this on my own. I feel like you've done very well. Oh, thank you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I am, oh, uh, okay, yeah, right. Thank you. Um, Jalastin? Jalastin? <laughs> Gallastin. It's a soft, it's a hard cut. Nor is it soft, no, yeah, hard cut. Gallastin. Um, gif. Gallastin. Touch Gallastin. Okay. I think I need to find, um, so Janaeus was sent off on, on a mission, um, to... Does, to, does he know where you are? I think so, yes, yeah, because we were all supposed to be coming to see you. Um, because, because, well, Arian, well, we, were, we were on our way to see you. Arian said, because we were, well, this all started with wanting to put some beds in the study, and I think we're beyond that now. That's very easily done. <laughs> 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 we just wanted to adapt the study a little bit more. Um, it seems, um, it seems trivial now. Maybe so. Put down the request on a notepad, and I'll maybe get to it later. Oh, okay! I mean, <laughs> sure, I didn't exist briefly, but yeah, beds. <laughs> I find in times of trouble a mundane task sometimes. Absolutely. Let's dissociate from this situation. Do you have, and what kinds of beds do you have? I'd love something in, in a bunk, uh, or a hammock. Um, doesn't quite work like that. Okay, you, need some, you know what, you do what you think is best, and I would like, we would like an array of beds mm. and, and living accoutrement, uh, because Arian appears to not need things like sleep and mm. food. Um, right. yes. Plumbing, I know that Janaeus would really like water access. Uh-huh. Is that something that's feasible? <laughs> uh, what, what salt do you? Salt? salt? Oh no, <laughs> salt will surely dehydrate him! <laughs> um, salt water? I mean, he's from the ocean, so yeah, I think so. We can always, we can always boil it, and then the steam will then decay. 
can and the condense and we'll make some like we'll make some fresh water from it. We can make it make something fancy. And it looks sort of confused at the concept. What of um heating water yeah. and okay, hang on. I'm trying like Moa is getting ahead of herself in her scientific brain. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what yeah, I mean. Like, well. Yeah, we, we all know, we all know what, we all what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out if Lily would have understood what no, that was. Yeah, 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 Lily, yeah, 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 she would. She's, she, she's techie, so mm -hmm. like, and yeah. Scratch all of that yeah, doubtfulness. No. No. Lily knows her shit. Yeah, I'm not, not casting a solution for okay, Lily. Yeah. Just... So yeah, we'll just work. Well, if you can provide the salt water, I'm sure we can make something about making that less salty. Oh, I, so I grew up in a very um, uh, tech heavy household. Right. Uh, it's just quite hard to come by in the fuck hole. I, maybe... Uh, Isn't it made up of a load of like ships what have crashed? Drinking water. Oh. It's hard to come by in the fuck hole. Well, if you supply, if it's, if it's salt water, we'll, 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 that'll do for now. Mm. Okay, <laughs> good to know. Um, and this sort of like, um, start, it just cuts open Arian's like uh, tunic mm -hmm. and starts working uh, his way through several rooms, sort of reattaching them. And it's not like he's redrawing them, but it's taking parts of them and re stitching them oh, back wow. together. It's really intricate. And the fact he's having this conversation while doing so is quite impressive. I mean, Lily will see this and she'll be like, you know what? I, Janaeus knows. We're here. Um, he doesn't know the, the, the intricacies, but I'm, I think I'm just going to wait here and let you do your thing. And, um, and I'll just, um, if there's more helicopter tea, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Just just click. Um, and we will use that clip to switch. Ooh, ooh, nice transition. Cool, thank you. Um, yeah, all right. <laughs> We're up in our game, Sam. <laughs> um, so we. Um, find ourselves back on the flotilla, the uh, mm -hmm. Seamus flotilla, so uh, a rather run-down area outside of town, just outside the main wall, a collection of broken ships and crates and jetsam and flotsam and everything bundled together to make a, a sort of small island um, of interconnecting planks and rats um, with various houses. Built is an overstatement. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are in a... it looks like a kid's fort. On the dog, uh, on the dog. No, oh, that's a nice bit. <laughs> on the sea mist. No, no. Ariana wishes. Uh, uh, yeah, all the high lines. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> interior, afternoon. Uh, to <laughs> film with it. So yes. Uh, got Janice. No, no. Yep. And Bran with a flip <laughs> shot aimed at Janice's head. Well, I don't know if like. So today we would just spend the entire time just rambling. So like we tried to take a boat and uh, what happened was my friend, he's not my friend anymore, it's my ex-friend, he kind of like attacked us. Um, he actually gathered a bunch of my people to attack us. Ship sunk and then we ended up on an island and then there was like this stick lady, she was really nice. And then there was like this big creature. My friend was there again, right dick. And anyway, so like, we don't want to take a boat again, because that doesn't work out well. And I felt like if we took the gate out of the city, like, we would just get, we, we'd argue about like, where to go, and we'd just be stuck there. And we'd start to get like a boat anyway to get somewhere. I think we should get an airship. Airship sounds good. Yeah, yeah. I, I think like, I've, I've come to this, this solid decision. Um, it's kind of what I'm supposed to do, make decisions. Stick to them, we're gonna get an airship. <laughs> I'll take yeah. it. Well, you know what? You've told me so much about yourself <laughs> in a very, very short period of time there. I think it's only fair that I actually tell you my name. So my name is... <laughs> <laughs> just, just to make this easier, uh, my name is Oriana. Oh, oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Oriana, yeah? Yes. Ah, oh, cool. Um, this is... Uh, Brand, Brand, you can put a bloody slingshot down now. If he makes one move, uh, do him. I'm actually terrified. <laughs> Brand, he's, he's fine. <laughs> he's he's going to be okay. Just, it's all right, mate. Uh, anyone that's going smashes a pot directly behind your head. It's like... Phew. actually quite a good aim, to be fair. Oh, he's aiming for your balls. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Keep it up. <laughs> 
right, Bran, why don't you just go and go and you know go find go find the other kids and see if they're all right. All right, boss. Uh, are you gonna be all right? I'll be all right, mate. If, if I need anything, I'll 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 uh, give you a call. I'll give you a whistle. So I staring at you, and me and Bashir will be back, and we'll mess you up if you touch her. I don't touch that point stick of yours. I've seen it. Friend, friend, it's all right, mate. Go, go, go. Find Bashir and go have a, I don't know, run whatever you kids do. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> run, just run in circles. That's what Welcome to all the other orphanage. We're going to go do a wayward boy. When you can't stop <laughs> TikTok. Yeah. Oh, what part of the island's that? <laughs> oh, it sounds fun. Do you get to dance and stuff? I like dancing. I don't know. They keep doing these dances. They were flossing the other day. I don't know what it is. It's just. Oh, it's kind of like where you do like this and then like this. It's not my mind. It's not a thing. I, I picked it up. Oh, God. The kids are going to bloody love you. <laughs> <laughs> right. <Did> you <laughs> right. So you want to go by airship? Yeah. Um. Okay. So. I do. I airships. How, how would you get away going about airships? Because I kind of I think she would know that. I think would she? Not really. Not you know really. any kind of park? <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know any more? But getting one. That's that's hot people stuff. Okay. Um. um well. So uh, they um, they moor at the sky pier, which okay. is in the Gridwin. Oh, you spell the wrong thing. You know what? how to pronounce it. <laughs> Should have done that with Gellis. Yep. Yeah. Good one, Colour's pretty how it sounds. <laughs> 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 um, but you do know where to go and get information from if it's out of your immediate room. I do know where to get information. Um, yeah, okay. um, Alright. Uh, okay, well, I personally don't know a lot about the airships. I know they exist, I know where they kind of, what, how they operate, but I don't. Sort of know how you get one. Oh, However, I know people who know how to get information. So I think we're going to have to go and uh, visit one of my friends. Awesome. About that. Well, like just over on the mainland, uh, Lily and Arian are there um, seeing a friend of his. So let's go pick them up and then, yeah, we'll go and uh, do your thing. Okay. Before we go, before we leave the flotilla, I think she'll probably give you a bit of a disguise. The big man wants you out of out of the plug hole, and if there are two blue people walking around, one of them looking as princey as you, I think questions might be raised. Why are people concerned with that with blue? Just, it just stands out, don't it? Just, just ignore that bit. Um. Well, I, okay, well I've got like a mask and, and a hood. And he just stands there, like, he's literally just his eyes coming through with the hood and the mask, and his blue body still just completely <laughs> <laughs> cropped the... up. <laughs> um, um, well, uh, I, I, as, that is great, that yeah. is good, but I think maybe I've, I've got something a little bit more, um, got to blend in a little bit more. Just give you a little bit of a hand here, and uh, she's gonna, she's gonna step out the room for like. Yeah. A couple minutes, uh, and It'll she's blend in just fine. she's gonna come back with like a proper, like a big long cloak okay. that kind of fastens a bit more, yeah. and there's like a big hood. I mean, you definitely have like a disguise kit as well. You want to go a bit? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So fake mustache. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she's gonna, it's gonna be like that, and she's gonna get like she'll have like a little bit of um, paint. Yeah. Paint, yeah, paint, like yes. a bit of paint, and just to like kind of not not like sort of more di- dirty up a little bit, just to make you kind of more. Um, but yeah, she's going to come out with that, the little, the little bag and things like that. Right, I think you're going to have to put this on. What's that? It's a cloak. Oh, uh, this cloak's magic, though. Yeah, well, this cloak will help you blend in with the city and mean that Atlas won't be coming around uh, asking you why you're still here. I just like, don't like to wear too much. Who does, mate? But the thing <laughs> is, like, you can still keep your magical cloak, just hide it underneath this one, alright? And uh, you might want to, uh, you're a bit pristine for these parts, so you might Thanks. want to uh, pop a little bit of this on. And she hands you like a little paint. Don't worry, it's not actually mud, it's paint. You just put a little bit on. I kind of think I prefer to be mud, like what chemicals are in this paint? Is it like an ethically sourced? Like what happens when... It's, it's vegan, don't worry. Ah, oh, awesome. Vegan, cruelty free. <laughs> I'm not that kind of girl, you know what I mean? 
There we go. Just right. Can you give me performance with advantage? Uh, whoever whoever wants to apply the makeup. Oh god. Yeah. Well, you was literally just like you smudging it on the inside. Oh, no. Oh, no. Performance and advantage. Yeah. Um, that will be nineteen. Yeah. You look. Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I was like Christina Aguilera joined that phase with the chaps and the dreadlocks. <laughs> it's a solid yeah. phase. You look filth. Uh, peasantry comes to you naturally. <laughs> Category is peasant cheek. Peasant cheek. I mean, like, I guess this isn't something I normally do, but like, it kind of feels fun, like, to like, be a bit normal looking. No offence. No, it's alright mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I can understand it why rich folk might want to look a bit more peasanty. That's totally cool, mate. Um anyway, right. If we if we want to get you off this uh off this out the plug hole ASAP, we might yep. as well we should really be heading off. Yep, um Jess summons weapons, um, but puts them on his Ah, oh, no, like his cloak is <laughs> Um, <laughs> tries to put them on his straps, but he can't access his straps now, so kind of has them to his side. This is going to make swimming fun. Yeah. Um, could give the tripod disadvantages away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I can't, like, store things away. Um, can you disapparate them? Yeah, but if I go more than 30 foot away, then it would be a case of, like, reconjuring them. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> I also love the fact that we just sort of made you disguise you to make you look more peasant but you've still got a massive like, tri uh, trident with you. Yeah, massive, like, magical weapons. Um... Maybe, yeah, uh, maybe put a little bit of mud on your trident there, mate. Just, just a little bit. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> or not, or not, whatever, it's alright, I'm just trying... It's just that it's not exactly mine, I'm borrowing it from a goddess, so... I just don't know how they feel about that kind of thing, like, just mud. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, and she's gonna, she's gonna whistle those article, um... Bran back in because Bran's the Bran's the eldest. Yeah. What? <laughs> no, it's all right. It's all right. It's not. It's fine. I just I wanted to let you know that I'm going to be leaving the flotilla for a little bit. Yeah. I'm helping Janae. He's don't worry. He's a friend. And I'm in charge. Yes, Bran. You're in charge. That's <laughs> a terrible idea. Yes. <laughs> it's all right. It won't be long. It won't be long. Just make sure that everything's in order. No one. Goes running about and just make sure that everything. Look, keep an eye on Jade. You know how she gets. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Two eyes. And uh, you know, if anything uh, bad happens, well, I guess you just have to deal with it because there's no way of contacting me, contacting me once I leave. Really, is there? Uh... <laughs> just pop me a message on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you tenner or do yourself some peace. <laughs> <laughs> Oriana Home Alones. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, just, it's, yeah, just, you'll be alright, you know what you're doing, I trust you, just, you know, keep an eye on everything, it'll all be good. Won't be too long, you know, there's a, I've, I've got some lasagna on the table, you can just pop it in the microwave with <laughs> it, it's all good. Um, yes, right, see you later. Yeah. Oh, Oriana? Yes, friend. And he just hugs you, and then turns back. <laughs> I'll look after the place, it's fine. Alright, Bren. I know you will, I trust you. I feel like Fagin. <laughs> but nice. But nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let Bren come to me. Yeah! <laughs> oh, cats. Um, so you said that it was like there was um, a pathway to yeah. the jetty, yeah, so rather than... Yeah, everything itself is... Um, it branches out into sort of this huge... like It's like mycelial roots, essentially. It's yeah. like, this huge network of floating planks and wood and yeah you can actually walk straight to the wall uh, you just went really extra last time uh, you had a little swim but you know on brand on brand yeah. <laughs> um so yeah we um you can direct the wall back yeah yeah because obviously you're not going to jump in and swim leaving Oriana to walk by herself it's just rude plus swimming's now out of the question anyway <laughs> 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 Oh, he didn't consider that. <laughs> cool. Excellent. So you're just making your way back towards. Um, yeah. Yes. Which I know is at the end of the alleyway, so just looking for artificery shop. Yeah, of course. Uh, and you're following. Yeah. <laughs> do, would, how well do I know the plug hole? Would I like know kind of 
a way, my way around ish, or would it yeah. kind of be um, anywhere that's not the doldrums? Maybe parts of the doldrum you might not know particularly well, but like this side of town. Yeah, back here. Okay, so I would probably know of um, all my Velasti. Velasti. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah. In passing, it's not. It's never really. Yeah, it'd be something like, oh, well, this is. I kind of. Yeah. 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 Oh, so right. I know as an artist as I know it's at the end yeah. of the lane. I, that's all I know. Right. Well. Yeah, I think I know. It's a relax, 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 something like that. That right. Is a reference. <laughs> 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 oh, Prestigious man eyes isn't going to get you. <laughs> Don't get. Arian didn't say like what the name was or anything. He just said it was a friend of his, and it was at the end of like the alleyway where we met Atlas. Yeah, that does ring a bell. Um, yeah, I'll, I think I know where that is. We'll, oh. uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll head that direction. Cool, cool. If we'll see anything uh, artificery, we'll head in that direction. Yeah, cool, cool. Lovely. Excellent. So, yeah, between the two of you, you've been most of the way there. You've passed it many times. It doesn't actually take long to get to Velasquez at all. It's um, only sort of a five, ten minute little jaunt. Quite nice, cool. actually. Um, without an imposing man walking you that way or yeah. having to <laughs> avoid public eye. So, yeah, you end up outside of, again, this. Little sort of cobbled together shop, um, part wood, part stone, with uh, the sign that just says Relaxi on it in this tiny little phoenix um, in the corner. Is the phoenix a familiar design at all? Yes, it is. Sort of. It, it looks inspired by the Phoenix of Terence sign that you've seen. Okay. Um, mm. Not exactly the same, yep. but definitely will have seen it at some point. But you know, it, it looks too similar to be a coincidence. Huh. Phoenix and Flancia are like, they're legendary. You wouldn't know that. I wouldn't know that. Would know they, they, that. they were, but, I mean, this is me talking about the Yeah. <laughs> were, but like, forgotten to history. Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. Huh. Like, everything about Alien just points back <coughs> to, like, flame birds. Huh. Okay. And then he'll go to open the door. Excellent. So, yeah, as you go in, you see this bright room. Um, with limestone and marble and like willing the bobs and finger gigs and all sorts of stuff just lying the walls, crystals floating and hanging braziers and all sorts. And in the middle you see this little fairly standard wooden desk uh, with this tall um, creature that with her back to you um, sort of working over a body and you see Lily uh, sat in a chair just holding a tea mug that's a little bit bigger than she <laughs> usually has. Um, just sort of staring intently. Oh. Hey, Lily, um, I want a friend, Oriana. Well, what's going on? Oh my god, Janice, 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 Janice! Okay, oh, oh, and she's just gonna run out and like hug him around the knees. <laughs> um, oh, I'm so happy to see you. Well, what? I mean, I've literally been gone like 10 minutes. Oh. What happened? So, um, it turns out that, well, I think you should sit down. Um, well, so Arian's not feeling very well, okay. um, and and this is this is um this is Galastin, uh, mm-hmm. and 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 he's kind of fixing Arian at the moment. Um, and oh, he's, nice one. He's got a helicopter teapot. Um, huh? and um, so I think it turns out that we didn't exist at one point, and that's like before we were like not before we were born exist exist, but like when we teleported, we didn't exist briefly. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, it kind of makes sense, I guess. You're taking this a lot better than I did. <laughs> oh. I mean, I, I don't really understand what you're saying, so I just figured it was the best reaction. Right, sorry, I've sort of jumped in, in with, with very little explanation, as is, <laughs> is quite on brand. Um, so, so, Justin, I, can I ask him, oh, sorry, I've forgotten if it's a hard or soft girl. Um, I, um, I think I think you should um, be the one to explain. Well, could I roll a history based on Lily saying the teleporter and in that moment? Yeah, give it an advantage. Go ahead. At advantage. Yeah, yeah, why not? Well, I'm going to need it. Um, so 17, I think it's minus one. But no, 17 plus zero. So 17. Seven, yeah. yeah. 17, <laughs> plus <zero>. <laughs> 17 plus zero. <laughs> the gates out of the city. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I act every week to play Janaeus. Like, it is such a hard, hard one. Stephen has seven PhDs. <laughs> Wait. No, not the PH. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Wait! 
Um, yes, so you briefly... I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> <laughs> we are professionals. Um, yes, so you have no idea what this is all about, as she's telling you. And then you sort of, again, have flashbacks to this. You are in sort of a stream of infinite light and then just nothing. And you don't feel, you don't think, but at the same time you are feeling, you are thinking, you are conscious, but subconscious and just not. They're scattered. And then you feel heat. And then achy pain waking up days later. Ah, 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 yeah, right? Yeah, 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 This is quite tricky to do. I don't think you quite understand how tricky. <laughs> yeah, so, um, uh, uh, Arian's runes, they're all like broken. It's amazing, and I'm having to be real quiet, um, which is obviously proving difficult. She's doing a really good job, to be honest. Thank you! <laughs> I mean, actually, cons- cons- considering this, this is pretty, like, yeah. I got that impression. <sighs> Do you want a cup of tea? Uh, anything stronger? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you, I'm sure. I have, like, I'm going Australian there. <laughs> Uh, I have like multiple questions. Oh, who are you? I am. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I I was uh, I was asked to help you guys out the city. Uh, this is a lot more than I uh, thought was going to happen. Yeah, because uh. Oh no, um, Atlas. Hang on, and sh- she's going to immediately like try and stand in front of Arian, <laughs> but obviously it's two and a half foot tall, so it isn't going to like oh, shield him or anything. I don't think we're going to go anywhere when he's like that. Um, but Atlas just doesn't want us around. Ideally, he also said sorry. Sorry. He said sorry to you. About what? I don't know. I guess you would know. I don't. Well. He's not done anything to me. Um, you sure? I've never met him before. He just literally said, tell Lily I'm sorry. <gasps> that was a very good impression, wasn't oh, it? Thanks, uh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> tell Lily I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I've had you kill characters of mine and NPCs and enemies of mine. I'm never like that. of like not, like Arian's very private so she doesn't want um Ariana to to see him especially mm-hmm. this vulnerable yeah. um so she's going to like like who are you i i'm my name's Ariana i've been asked by Atlas to get you guys out of the city specifically Janelis yeah why does he not like you it's not me i don't think basically Somebody who looks a lot like me has raised a Frendalian army and they're attacking islands. Someone who looks a lot like you? Yeah. But isn't you? Yeah. Now, like, I haven't really spent much time with Genevieve, but I think, like, the whole being female thing makes her look quite different to me. But apparently we look really similar as well. Um, however, just smacks of storm. And, like... Like, this, he's gone through so many, like, emotions in the last ten minutes. Oh, no. Um, uh, uh, Storm. Well, I think Atlas seemed to buy that it was Storm and not me, obviously, because I was, like, asleep and not existing with you. <laughs> um, But I guess other people around the plug hole might not buy it like Atlas bought it, so therefore maybe I could be in trouble. I don't know. Um, I genuinely went to reach for a plan. <laughs> um, to, she'd be like fully like fiddling with a pla- fiddling with her hair, like okay, um, right, hmm. So we need to get out. Well, we need to go anyway. Like, hasn't like Leviticus been like beckoning Frayne home for what feels like weeks now? Yeah, but like, but Frayne 
Ryan and Torrin are back in the study and Torrin's still unconscious. We don't know what's going on with him. Oh. Right, okay. Um, sorry, um, Gallistan? Uh, Stin, but... Gallistan. Sorry. Hi, sorry. No, um, fine, happens all the time. <laughs> it, it's been a day. Yeah. Um, how's Arian? Uh, honestly... Hmm. Maybe not honestly. Uh, no, I prefer the honesty. Okay. Uh, take a seat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already sitting. <laughs> uh, could you pass me that crystal over there and point to an egg, looking like a dark obsidian egg? Okay. No, no. Egg. Oh, fine. Um, uh, and you see that, like, the runes that he's been doing, uh, he's been leaving a trail of them being done, and they started cracking again. Um, like, the work that he's done just seems to be undoing itself, and like, Mm. Puts his egg tire in his hand, and what you saw before, where this thing just turned into like a, a fire opal, uh, the, the yellow ones. It is to stay black. I'm going to assume that that's not good. Well, what, 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 does, that, what does that mean? Do you want the honest answer still? Well, I'd rather that than you lie to us. So much easier. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, no, not actually. The energy um, should be a lot. It should be these act as sort of bits of it takes and it can hold. Um, any excess should be coming into this. I don't. Think. So that's the, the 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 energy, the magic that he's been. Taking from the unknown source mm -hmm. should be filling into this vessel. But what about his magic that he has? That's just him. I don't. I don't know. Is Arian going to be okay? Um, and as you look at the body on the desk, the runes are looking dull. Like when they were undoing, they were still sort of glowing in different colours. As they are undoing, they're turning dull and just turning to like skin tone. But honest answer, uh, I think Arian is mortal. And, uh, I said, uh, and it just was trying to find the words and is sort of shaking a little bit. Um, when the magic moves, uh, it, it, it could have taken uh, his with him. Um, I, I feel this may be the case. So, so he's just used up all of the magic that brings him back every time he dies. But he's not dead now. He's alive. Okay. But I don't think he has don't magic anymore. Like, yeah. If he does die, it sounds like that'll be it. Oh, I think it's maybe worse. I think he yeah, no longer has access to weave of magic. Any magic? So, magic. Oh, and that's why we're going to go for a break. break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anything. <laughs> Crap, Paladin. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Huh. Wow. Don't be off sick. <laughs> <laughs> Connor will fundamentally rewrite your character. Yeah. Right. But do a bang up impression. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I literally yeah. miss you, obviously. But yeah. Bang on impression, mate. I'm not saying that you got ill just to avoid a one to one conversation with me. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what you get. <laughs> Uh, so we're back in sort of fifteen minutes or so. Yeah, um, go have a cup of tea. Or something stronger as this yeah. episode's turning out to be. Maybe, maybe a little cry. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to. We'll see you in a bit, folks. <laughs> I hope you all had a wee because we're going to get intense. <laughs> I mean, you guys can go for a wee with chat here, actually. Um, they could listen to us whilst having a wee. What? Well, while they're having a wee. Never mind. I'm yeah. ruined it. <laughs> <laughs>
you can take your tablets and devices to the bathroom, we're not going to be weeding live on camera. No, we're not. That's definitely That's something we have to pay content. extra for. Different, <laughs> yeah. different kind of podcast. Different dungeon. <laughs> right, yeah, uh, sorry to leave the break on such a... Uh, Existentialness. Yeah, what happened this week? Yeah. Oh, man. A lot. Three of the party disappeared and we, the, the, the two most happy-go-lucky characters... Have to deal with everything! Uh, this is... I'm just confused. <laughs> Me too. Apparently this is how I deal with grief. I write my people out of existence. <laughs> uh, Alright, should we get back into it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, I mean, no longer exists as a magic user. Right. Let's see. Okay. Um, Mr. Mr. Gallastine. Um, Gallastin, sorry. Um, That's quite all right. Is there anything that we can do right now to help? Because this just feels very, like, intense. And, um, I, 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 are we just in the way at this point? Or... Honest answer? Again, just yeah. keep with the honesty. Yeah. 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 Right. Assume yeah. always we want you to be honest. You'd be surprised. Uh, how often people don't actually want the honest answer? Well, we do. Okay. So. Your brain could use a cut. Just a bit, a couple of inches. Uh, if, if, if Arian dies. Oh. <laughs> you want the honest answer? Yeah. Sorry, I'm not doing this. I didn't ask you! We, we want honest answers to questions we ask you, not random feelings and opinions you have on our own. I missed the opinion. What was the opinion? That I should cut my hair. The brain's oh. getting a little long. <laughs> I can't! I physically can't as much as I cut them. Oriana! Yeah. Maybe yeah, you know of a um, a a restaurant, an eatery, um, a fine dinery establishment, um, a watering hole, a place, a pub. Where, yeah, one of those. Yes, I know one that's definitely not here. Yes, let's please let's go to that. <laughs> I figure I'm that confused and scared. Brain and Torin will join us when they're ready to join us. Until then, Brain is looking after Torin, and hopefully he's not dead. Yeah, that... Arian's hopefully not going to be dead. Where are we going? Right. So I have uh, some friends. Yeah. In the uh, a place called Camp Hill. Why? Does that mean anything to you? Uh, the DM or uh, Gallistan? <laughs> <laughs> Why would I be talking to the DM? I like don't know. This? I just felt very important. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the yeah, the Camp Hill. Uh, uh, yes, I know it. Uh, Is it possible you can send word to us there if anything drastic happens to Arya? Drastic. I mean, I yeah. think the most dr- drastic. Well, basically, the only thing left now is that he actually dies and doesn't come back. Exactly. Yeah. Or maybe <laughs> he recovers. I don't know. I just want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, no, never mind. Karen, Karen. Can you get a message to us if anything bad happens? Or if, um, because Torin, well, Torin doesn't, but Frame knew that we were coming to look for, um, for you, and right. so maybe she'll find her way to you as well once Torin wakes up, or if Torin wakes up, and, and you're, you're literally our only pinpoint of certainty in this entire city! Well, be rational. Torin and Frame are not irresponsible enough to go off wandering a big city they don't know and just completely not do as they told us they would do. Like, yeah. that is not happening. No, you're right. Um, and even if they did, they're probably just in the climbing well because Frame got thirsty and she drank everything that was in Arian's study. Well, maybe, but I mean, I don't know how she would make it to the to the specific pub that we're going to. I feel like there might be quite a lot in the city. Yeah. That's very hopeful. Oh, man, <laughs> like, just not just like one. In a city? No, I mate, we do pub crawls around here all the time. It's brilliant. What you want to do is you want to start out at the uh, at the at the dog and <laughs> <laughs> you dug yourself into a hole having to come up with those different pub names, haven't you? My head went to uh, the cat's pajamas <laughs> from um, from Justice League. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a good one. They do great. Yeah. Two for three on the egg bombs in there. Let, right, let's not go anywhere near there at <laughs> this time. This, what's going on now? <laughs> right. But no, that's not what you want. You want to get out of the city. You don't want to do a pub crawl. However, if you do want to come back, you know where to find me. I absolutely love it. Nope. Back on back on point. Yes, let's go to the Cumber Pearl. Let's go. Right now. Yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, 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 Gellistin. Uh, and thank you, Oriana, uh, for th- being very grounded in the situation. I am. Um, Shitting myself 
these two people popped out of existence for some reason. Now I've got to get them out of a city because there's a big nine foot whatever man trying to hunt me, dump me this guy down. Um, let's go, shall we? That yeah. little nine foot. Um, she's gonna. Lily will run up to sort of charge up to uh, get us in. Um, and just sort of shake his hand, and not not even shake it, but just sort of hold it in in her two hands and say, just just do what you can, okay? Um. He's he's a really good friend, and 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 we love him. Um, yeah. And then she'll pick up her staff and 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 leave. Um, I'm glad he's found people like you. Um, and he will uh, click, um, and this little like spring contraption will bounce along the floor to him, and he'll take like a little gem out of it and go catch. Uh, the first nurse. We can speak to it. It's uh, only you and me. Uh, one way, two way. Okay. Uh, but if anything happens to Hello. Me, hello. 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 Oh, it's also hello. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Okay, I get the point. <laughs> <laughs> you just take something out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, perfect. Thank, thank you. Cool. Thank you so much. And yeah. Um, let us know if we need to know anything. Right. The truth. The truth. Yeah. Always. Oh, yeah. After you. Yes, let's, uh, we should probably be going. And she kind of, she walks towards the door, but then she kind of turns around and kind of gives, gives, uh, uh Galliston kind of a bit of a nod, and then she looks at Arian and she does the same. <laughs> <laughs> so, mate, you're right there. <laughs> just, just a kind of like a, yeah. And, uh, yeah, she, 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 uh, she walks out the door and, uh, kind of, gestures for Janaeus and Lily to kind of follow her up. Cool. So, um, yeah, you know the city pretty well, especially the sort of east, southern eastern side, towards the northeastern side of, of the Purple, uh, which tends to be the rougher part of town, shall we say. Um, <laughs> uh, so the clear one is out on the west, um, the, the southwest. The, um, the, um, the seems to have sort of like starts from direct east to northeast. Um, so you're currently in the northeast uh, of the city, and you just, you know, the, um, the Khan Pearl is, sits in the sort of southeastern part of the city. Um, it's a little bit of a journey, but you, you know how to get there pretty, pretty succinctly. Um, and you could move without being seen if you wanted to, you know, all the rat runs and the sort of, um, it depends, it's up to you if you want to get there, so. Okay. Right. So, uh, I feel the best way of doing it, don't, obviously, with you, with you two uh, needing to be out of here as soon as possible, I think we should probably be better to take sort of more of the back routes rather than go through the main sort of uh, transit city. <clears throat> so yeah, I think we should do that. Yeah, right, yeah, whatever you Either say. Way, you, I mean, you're, you're probably the most in the know kind of um, person to, to, to take us. I, uh, I grew up in these streets, so I know them pretty well, so yeah, just the easiest, most chill way, and hopefully we won't get stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like really weird that we're in so much danger. Like, do, don't your brother hang out here? Oh, Lox, yeah, no, he turned, he's talked about, like, how he, he likes a pub crawl as well. Um, although more, more so in recent times. He wasn't much of a drinker, to be honest, when we were younger. So are you making a way whilst having this conversation? Yeah. yeah cool. <clears throat> would I know of the murder? So would that kind of not really get round to sort of my, my end? Passing, like, probably. Yeah. yeah, not like an in-depth knowledge. So I kind of, I hear the name murder, but I, oh, I kind of... They're rich. Like, they're you, rich. You, I know you, they're rich. Yeah. Oh, you're a, you're a murder, are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, although I've sort of like, I'm, I'm, I'm going on a bit of like a bit of um, a, a self-finding mission, and 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 you know, they're not really that happy with me at the moment. Her family are basically war criminals, and she wants to like touch nature. Uh, I mean, that's putting it there, very we... bluntly, and not really in like not exactly including the nuance of the situation but yes yeah i mean yeah yeah sorry but they're yeah. nice they're not evil i'm not judging them i mean i'm not 
Oh, they're just doing what they have to do. Listen, my not father's tyrannical king of a war people, so like I'm not exactly throwing stones here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, don't throw stones. It doesn't really do much. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh yeah. don't don't worry. About it. I mean, it could be worse. My my parents are dead, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh wow. Um, oh, don't worry about it. I never met him. Let's. Uh, sorry, and like Lily will genuinely, she'll like go up. How tall is Ariana? Ariana? That's a good question. I think like uh, five seven. That was it, about five seven. Oh, so high. So high. Okay, so I mean, she'll kind of she'll go up and she'll like really sincerely like hold your hand, hold hold her hand, and be like, I'm really sorry. Ariana's gonna be a, not expect this because she's quite a blunt person in sort of in that area in the flotilla. It's kind of very kind of. They're all a bit like that, yeah. and they're all like take jabs and a bit of banter. One and of their like... parents turned up for their births. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like kind of like you know that's that sort Even of thing. Even your mothers, which yeah. have a lot of questions. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the, this like genuine act of like actual sort of mm. kindness and and sincerity is almost a bit touching, but she's not going to like really say that. She's just going to like ho- keep hold of Lily's hand for a little bit and be like, uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, <clears throat> Lily, and then kind of gonna sort of let go and yeah. walk forward. <laughs> so you walk forward, you still have hand, and you use it to like pull your to a stop as like a couple of city guards like yeah. pass, and, and then the coast clears pretty quickly. They're, they're sort of out of control rather than you know, hacking and searching or hounding anything. Yeah. Um, so yeah, through the alleys, it's Oriana is adept at this. Um, there is a not a shadow that you aren't enveloped in or like they're, they're not you spend bit, very little time in the light uh it's jumping from situation to situation down each alleyway it, it feels like home and she sort of knows almost precognitionly like um whether or not someone's coming around the corner or you know uh where danger seems to be there's almost like a third sense um the sixth sense even they've all been there <laughs> She double can only... sense double the sense. Yeah, well, <laughs> she can but with an S and a C, <laughs> no things. <laughs> yeah, just she she drinks and she knows the <laughs> right. uh, Yes, so it's it's not long before you start making your way down uh, from what was a, a poor part. You move through several different districts. Um, you move through um, one that's quite heavily sort of halfling based. All the, uh, all the um, houses. What were the houses then? Jesus Christ, it's been a day. Um, Connor's words have stopped existing with each character. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so all the houses are really like sort of small and built on top of one another, uh, sort of like uh, Wendy House styles. Mm. Uh, and then you move into this <laughs> grandiose sort of um, open market with vast, uh, like quite tall wooden structures with netting hanging down. And there's a sign saying the first of Ella. Um, this big like center in it, uh, and you move through that fairly quickly. Uh, and just past the first favela, um, the, there's a bit of town where there's sort of no alleyway. It just is a almost like a little plaza. Um, and as you're passing, there's just one big sort of wall, like almost like a long obelisk in the middle. Uh, and there, you hear sort of groans coming from the wall as you go past it and there's people sort of half melded into the stone. Uh, so like part of their torso is sort of like being pushed into the stone, you see sort of hands and faces sticking out of it. Um, yeah, and, you know, I carry on watching. Why are keeping open-minded <laughs> stuff? Um, and like, my people do some messed up stuff, but what the fuck is this? So. Jesus, the DM. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so you'd know this uh, to be called Paradise. Paradise? Oh, aptly named, yeah. yeah. Uh, it is a place naughty boys and girls go when they've been very, very naughty to the seven. Right. Uh, and as you look at these people, the various creatures, um, some are like beast folk. Uh, there are a couple of uh, like teeth things in there. Uh, all of them have humongous grins on their faces. They're either like sort of lolling or closed, uh, but they are very happy. Is that a teeth thing? <laughs> it's 
but it's a punishment. Apparently. What does, right, yeah, the Genesis is going to keep quilling Oriana. Just like, oh, I, like they, they're smiling, but I, I wouldn't be smiling if I was caught in that position. And it, it doesn't seem like a natural smile. Like, it seems like a very, like, unnatural what, smile. What kind of ma- it, what's what's the magic vibe? Can you give me that vibe, right? Yeah. That's a... 19. Um, so you can tell that some magic has been used to melt the stone, um, but the actual effect on the creature doesn't seem to be particularly much. But they're like... So... And there, you can still see... Like there, the the bodies are melted into the stone, but they aren't like they aren't stone shaped or anything. Varying degrees of like consumption by the wall itself. Okay. So some are just faces sticking out. Some are just like an arm. Some are just like a leg, or like their torso has been taken in. Uh, but each one and all are uh, smiling. And uh, yeah, you are right. It is quite an unnatural grin. Seems forced. So, but there are groans. Like little whispered laughs um, from the wall itself, but it seems <clears throat> seems like even the city itself is built it's built away from this point. Like the houses are very far away; they haven't wanted to build closer. Who's doing this? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I no one really knows about it. We just call it it's called paradise. Uh, uh, but nice. Yeah, we. All I know is that they did something. To who? The Seven, presumably. The, what, the, uh, big... To like Atlas? Yeah, Atlas. But he was really, he was like quite heroic, wasn't he? Wasn't he supposed to be like helping the city? Look, I... They must have done something really bad if they're like being melted into a wall. It doesn't matter if they did what, what, what thing they did. Like, no one deserves this. That's why I need you to give me a history check. Um, yeah, just know some of your, some people you've known of have been taken away, uh, but not much. I, I don't know, it, uh, she, she's, she shrugs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we'll be close to Planet Hell. Yeah, we can we just get yeah, through, far. can we get through here? I don't, I don't like no, it, it's uh, really, no, I don't. do anything to help and yeah. No, the the they just move on. I that's their best thing to do is just move on and just try not to think about it. I know it's difficult, but it's it's you know it's the only thing you can this do. Really, place is getting worse and worse. Let's uh, let's just go. We can have a we can have a drink and uh, we can talk to my to my informant, shall we? Uh, and as you move from the square that has the paradise, um, you the minute you step in, uh, step into like this. Uh, the house line, um, like back into sort of alleyways, uh, the hairs on the back of your neck sort of drop a little and you feel a little more on edge. Sort of like you were maybe being hunted, like that sort of presence, you know, where you feel like something's behind you or there's something watching you or something spectral perhaps. Um, yeah, you feel a little more at ease in the air, that's where. Uh, and it's not like, yeah, you know that, you know, unfortunately that is a, the quickest way to the Conway Pearl yeah. and you are maybe two or three streets over from it now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I sorry, yes, I I didn't I didn't want to sort of bring she's kind of she's kind of talking to both of them but more at Lily because she feels more Lily is Mm -hmm. like as everybody I imagine perceives Lily as quite an innocent sort of um, more, more of an innocent person. I've killed like so many people. <laughs> not like looking down on, not like looking down on on you because that's not Aria yeah. doesn't do that because she's you know. It, but like kind of, Lily's so sweet and nice, and it's like you don't really want to push that. Um, but she's talking to kind of basically. Like, I'm sorry, I, I, you know, you don't really want to see that. It's just I know this is the quickest way, and I know you need to get out, or else I don't know what's going to happen. There's just like there's a difference between rehabilitation and keeping somebody away from people for safety reasons, that felt more like humiliation. Yeah. And that's where it's just like, that's not cool. No, yeah. the, the plug hole might have some nice bits, but it, it, it's not it's not a nice place. Let's just say that now. Uh, let, let's just uh, crack on, shall we? Let's yeah. just, uh, yeah. 
So, yeah, you continue across. Um, again, you see a bit more of a guard presence around here than you have done uh, in the sort of seamless and the, um, uh, the lusty part of town. Um, but with Oriana's expert sort of knowledge, <laughs> her three senses, <laughs> um, yeah, you, you manage to avoid any sort of detection. Um, and you come across um, this. We all the all the houses are fairly normal, except there's just a ship in the center of the street. <laughs> this huge galleon um, just. Pump that it looks like it's been picked up from the ocean and dropped in the center of the street. Um, and yeah, it, it weirdly almost looks like it's rocking or is still under the effects of the tide that touched it years ago. Um, and you just see a big sign that says the clam and pearl, uh, this beautiful sort of baby blue, um, like background with an open clam with a uh, huge, like fist sized pearl, um, sign sort of. On top of it. Ah, oh, you didn't mention it was a ship. That just makes it way cooler. Oh, right. Like, this is this is always what we always end with pub crawls right here. Oh, absolutely great. Try try looking at this when you're like six pints in. Oh, I can't beat it. Had six pints. <laughs> oh, mate, you come back to the plug <laughs> and I'll show you a good time. Six person. pints of what? Because I mean, pints of tea, pints of water, pints of beer. Okay. Oh. <laughs> right. Anyway, let's uh, let's crack on. Let's 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 get in somewhere. Let's find a table, shall we? Yeah. So, not that it really would need it, but there is a gangplank uh, into what you know the, the main deck up into the, the, the top part of the ship. Um, and as you approach, there's a taste of like sea air uh, and like a the, the the temperature in the plug hole has been tempered like flat the entire way you've been there, almost sort of weirdly so, but in this small subset in the, around the ship, there's the taste of like sea spray and there's a little bit of that chill that you bring out in the ocean, a little bit of wind, you swear you see a pair of seagull, um, and it feels really homely to Janaeus, there's a, there's a sort of mmm about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chips! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they come. <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock was right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, so the gangplank uh, leading down uh, up onto the ship. So, this is like, it actually feels like it's on the ocean, it smells like it's on the ocean. This is like, this is awesome. This is so cool. And as you get up, it, it, it feels like it's rocking. It, <laughs> it feels like you are being lapsed gently against the waves. Uh, it's very stationary, very long, solid land. This doesn't seem sensible for people who've been drinking a lot of alcohol. <laughs> oh, mate, it makes it so fun, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you know, there's a... Can I make up a story about this ship that is... I'm sorry, this is... This yeah, is I mean, that's simple. This is just... Yeah, you, go, you know what, there's a... There's a myth about this uh, boat that they say that... Years and years ago, just as the, just as the plug hole was coming to be... A massive man rose up from the sea, was godlike, picked up a ship and just put it in the land. But some people just think it's a hurricane or something like that. But anyway, let's 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 get in. That seems both improbable, but also really great. No, no, it's totally probable. Like, there are sea gods and stuff, and they can, like, manipulate their size and stuff. Like, you, you, you've heard about Jaius, right? The god of the Tempest? Sure! Yeah! So, like, god of sea storm and stuff. Yeah, he wanted that's to just, true. like, pick up a ship and pop it on land. Sounds like the kind of fuckery he'd do. Oh, okay. Well, I've got nothing to say. About <laughs> <laughs> No, don't, don't worry about it. It was just the little the, the voice in my head where I was having a bit of fun. Uh, <laughs> you get that as well? <laughs> yeah, it's like, there's also numbers as well. It's like, what's oh, a maths? It's wow. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> um, right, okay. Let's, uh, do you want to drinks? Yeah. Cool. I, I've got on me. I ain't got a lot, but, you know, you're my guests. Aw, oh, um, thanks. Right, and she, she goes up to the bar and, uh, Yes, so uh, you may go in the ship and the, the tables are nice. Uh, the actual interior of the ship is, is very on brand for, uh, you know, there are little 
lots of port holes, uh, there are tables and barrels and little stools, and there are bigger tables that are tables with barrels, so to speak, depending on the height of the various occupants. Catering um, to all sizes. Yeah, uh, you know, it's an inclusive ship. Yeah. With a captain, who knows? Um, yeah, and as you make your way across to the bar at the, at the back of the ship, um, there is this roguish looking half elf woman. Uh, she has both feet up on the bar uh, and she's just playing with like a, a pistol. Keep an eye on people um, as they come in and you know that this is sort of a neutral territory um, in the plug hole. No, there's no judgment coming in, uh, but any sort of fuckery that goes on is dealt with swiftly. Um, and yeah, you know, you keep your friends close, and if you don't, you take it outside. Mm. You alright, mate? Alright, Shane. Uh, alright, alright, how are you doing? I'm all good, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. What's your friend up to you? Ah, uh, uh, ooh. I'll just have a pint, you know, usual. Yeah. Uh, what are you, what are you drinking? Ah, uh, like, is there wine? Is wine a thing? Yeah, glass full. Mm-hmm. A glass, a, a glass feels appropriate. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we've got whiskey and we don't think we've got it. I think, yeah, you've got, you've got a couple of options. You've got uh, red. Okay. <laughs> you've got white. We do. Uh, and we've also got a nice bottle of dark tea thing. First one, we're serving guests. What did she say? Don't worry about it, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> really, you know, Dark Heat is a very, very nice bottle of wine. Oh, that's the good stuff! Oh, from that other reality. <laughs> <laughs> Poison no, more often than not. No, mum and, mom and dad sometimes had that at home. It was like, but for really special occasions. But well, surely, like, we, we can't afford that. So, like, just the simplest, like, wine. Plus, like, it'd be wasted on me anyway, because, like, Underwater wine versus surface wine, it's all very different. Right. Good to know. And what about you, Lily? I mean, could I just get a cup of tea? <laughs> yes, uh, of course you can. Oh, great, That's thanks. What, what do you take us for? We're an establishment. <laughs> Don't just serve beer and wine. Oh, oh, that's really nice to know. <laughs> yeah, no, just like, just a, just a good brew. If you've got a mint, that'll be nice. Yeah? Maybe, maybe she'll have a couple of crisps, a couple of packet of crisps. <gasps> oh, like, oh, I love crisps! <laughs> better watch out for them seagulls, he's got crisps. <laughs> no, that's what, that's what I know. I've got it. Um, so yeah, uh, well, uh, point? Yes, please. Tea. Wine. Glass. Right. Not bottle. Glass. Surface. Not sea. Surface. Not sea. I mean, you know, sea wine? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. We're in the pearl. Oh. We're in a galleon, mate. Well, yeah, but like, I just, how did you get it up here, like? There's that one dock that I know of, but are we exporting these days? Oh. If you've got a dock, people usually go and get stuff, come out of it. I mean, that's never like, I don't really deal with that side of things. It's just good to know. Yeah, yeah. General For economics. Prince, you don't seem to know a lot about what's going on in your kingdom. Well, like, the economical stuff is, like, that's definitely, like, more of the counsellors and advisors sort of job. Sure, sure, sure. You're just kind of looking at it in a holistic way overview. It, it's more about destroying the merfolk. That's that's my job. Mm, right. Oh, okay. So, so I, oh, right. I feel, like like I, feel I need to put some context in there. Um, that's what I'm being trained for. It's not what I want to do. Or that's, that's really what I'm good going to know. To do. I'd say start with that. Yeah. yeah. Let's start with that. Right. Yeah. Then, uh, also, maybe don't talk about destroying any type of people or something like this. Yeah. Just, Sorry. Just any sort of um, uh, racism or whatever that is. Just maybe don't. It's not really a racism thing, it's just an ancient view oh, that's going on. You know what, just let's, let's drink your wine. I drink your wine. I just want to like a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> just come to back. I'll just add a bit of enough. Uh, two silvers, six hoppers. Oh. Uh, wait a second. You wouldn't mind putting it on your tab, would you? I promise I'll get you. I'll, I'll get you back. I promise. Ten silvers your cap's looking at at the moment. Look, I promise I will get you those silvers at the end of the week. I've got, you know, I've got some money coming in for another job. It's all right. I, I promise. It's all right. I promise. Last time, I promise you. No, 
it's all right. I, I will get you back soon. Oh, it's good thing you're back, Oscar. Bad just for you, that's why. I mean, it's a good thing the Vapos vouchers for you. I've got like, I don't know if this like is useful at all. Like, I mean, just pulls out um, a silk rope. Um, there was fifty foot of this. There's now only forty nine foot. Um, really lost a foot of it. Um, but like, other than that, it's really, 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 really strong. And the finest sort of like silk rope. I'm not suggesting that it pays for the whole tab, but certainly like a gift for me. I don't really have anything else on me. I mean, I do. But I can't get those things away. Lily will like shove her hand in what in various pockets and like she'll bring out a vegetable card. <laughs> <laughs> I'll swap you this for the cup of tea. It's really good. There's like a bite out of it. Like. And from like <laughs> the seating position, she just like takes the top of the gun and taps it on the side and it says no barters, trades, <laughs> or deals of any kind. What does that oh, mean? Really sorry, just no, put, put it's cash up. only. Don't oh, worry. we like Frayne has all our money. Yeah. Look, don't worry about it. This is not your problem. This is my problem. Just yeah, we don't want you to get in trouble on our behalf. I, you're not. I've already got myself in enough trouble without you. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Thank you very much. I promise I'll pay that tab off. End of the week. I promise. Right. Now let's go. Uh... She promises a lot. Right, I do. Just, just we've got an understanding, though, don't we? Really, don't we, love? We've got an understanding. I understand. Let's go sit down. <laughs> uh, right. So, what are we doing here? Right. So, this is where I'm meeting my informant, uh, Bethos, who very kindly vouches for me here, which is why I've not been kicked out multiple times. Um, yeah. So, uh, is, can I? I, I just, uh... The barman, uh, barmaid is just staring at you, um, like, yeah, you, you are lucky you're not being kicked out. Um, but you want to look for that boss? Yes. Uh, give me an investigation. The bar's not overly full, um, but there are various people around. People sort of talking hush. <laughs> I'm of... rolling horrendously to- oh no, it's okay. Um, I forgot I've got like that. I've got plus nine to my investigation system. Oh, today. damn. Um, Woof. 13. 13. Oh, wow. <laughs> so look at that. Roll to four guys. <laughs> uh, oh, that damn dice. I was going to say, plus nine to do so much. Yeah. That's half of a dice, nearly. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so there are various people. People are having, like, sort of hush conversations. Uh, people are having very brazen conversations as well about, um, sort of, jobs. Uh, quote, unquote. Jobs. Uh, things coming in, uh, a lot of it te- seems to be in almost gibberish, however, you would understand that they're speaking these camps. These camps. Yeah. Uh, and from below deck, uh, yeah, Lily's <laughs> is very proficient in the <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, from below the decks, after maybe 10, 15 minutes or so, um, two people come upstairs talking, uh, one of them is a water gymnastic that you know to be Right, that would be that boss. She's gonna be uh Oh god, how many what what kind of what other water based folk are you not happy with? No, no, it's just that it's like storms of Genesee, like I think, and his and his natural form, which I've never actually seen, so it's just bad memories, but I'm not keeping that to myself. We you can't say little tar every one of their race based off of one person. I know, it was just an emotional reaction. I'm not going to say anything. Very That's a bit of a racist emotional reaction, I don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway. Oi! That boss! No, what do you call them? <laughs> Oi! Glove Glove! There we go. Get your ass down here! Uh, and true to form, um, this Junassi like turns, stares, sort of head in hands a little bit, uh, and then starts making their way over to you, leaving like little droplets of water um, from their body, uh, just sort of dripping away from them. Like, oh, oh my arm. Oh, glub glub, how are you doing? How are you doing, love? Oh, it's great. I had to pay 50 silvers for you recently. I will pay you back, I promise I will. I said to you what I said to the barmaid. What's the barmaid's name? Chandrel. Pardon? Chandrel. Chandrel. Yeah. I said to you what I said to Chandrel. 
I will pay you back by the end of this week and I promise, and you know when I make a promise, I almost always stick to that promise. Do I not? Yeah, it's just the duration of the sticking to like nearly six months. You'll, you'll well, one man's six months is another man's two weeks, I guess. I uh, just let's. Uh, I um I need I need some help to get my friends here, and she gestures to Janaeus. Time then, is a construct. Time what? is a construct. Thank you. You've been very helpful today. I must admit. Thank you very much. Um. I found out I didn't exist at one point today, so really, it's, yeah, time is a construct. Just, yeah, don't, don't, ignore it. Um, airships. Ah, oh, airships. Airships? Airships. Oh, not this airships. again, not this again. Um, Lily's had many experiences with airships. No, she's excited. Yeah. <laughs> We're going we, on an airship. It seemed like the best thing to do because, like, sea shit ended really badly last time, and then we could go out the gate that takes us out of the city. But then, where did you find those? They were uh, discerning people. Well, he was sent to me by the big man. Why? And she was uh, with in that artificer's place. You know, we're together, the and they're oh. together. No, not, not, oh. not together. Um, not together, together. I don't think he swings that way, but like, uh, you know, we just we're we're friends, and we've got other friends. Yeah. Um, we travel together, but we've sort of got like separated, and um, we 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 need to reconvene, but we're sort of like finding out what our options are at the yeah. moment. So we need like five, maybe three passes on the airship. Wow. Well, like, Tarin's dead, or could be dead. And Don't say that! <sighs> We've got to think positively! Yeah, but it costs money. Like, are we going to buy dead people tickets? Well, no, but we don't know. He's just unconscious at the moment. He's I mean, definitely oh, alive. No, no. He was just going through some stuff. You we'll might get a discount if he's dead. You don't need the food or water or anything, so you might get a discount we'll on go it. go on his cargo. Yeah. Well... At least magically, like, well, unconscious. He might be, what about unconscious? Mm. Depends how long, I Yeah, will he wake up halfway through the flight? We can... Uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge okay, when we get yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So five. 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 Let's go five, five. at the moment, yeah. Uh, mm, well... Mm. Airships are a bit tricky. Uh, I don't suppose any of you uh, have any royal standing or... Uh, royal standing? Or, you know, connected. It's more about you now. This was a ridiculous a idea. So now, so this and, and, and mask down. But this is my moment okay. to be. <laughs> um, takes off the the, the 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 massive cloak that um, Ariana has given him. So now he's standing there, full Triton, exposed to everyone. Not fully exposed, just Janaeus level of exposed. And just be like, Prince Janaeus of Frindel, heir apparent. Um, not definitely going to be king yet, but could definitely maybe be king. And and. Uh, they like genuflect. They like get down on one knee. Oh, finally! I, mean, <laughs> I, I don't mean to be all airs and graces, but I have missed this kind of thing. You, you can stand. It's fine. It's totally fine. Pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> We've also there's and Frayne's a lady. Yeah, like Torin Lady, like Lord Lady. Yeah, stuff, Torin's so, like, a Lord, Frayne's a lady. I'm it's not I, royal though, is it? I'm not. I'm not royal. Uh, my family are just like they're quite well known, I guess. But like, I don't think it would be much help use. Your family. She's a lady. What have you gotten me into this time? Look, mate, I don't. I didn't get myself into this either. It was. It was the big man, Atlas. He asked me to do this, and you know, you know. You know that's worse, right? That's that's so much worse. Look, I didn't ask for this. He just came over me and he was like, "Look, Ariana, you need to get these guys off the island now. You know what happens when you do something that the seven don't like." Well, maybe if you hadn't tried to break into the spire two months ago. <gasps> what did you do? Look, it's not talk about that right now, shall we? This is a different man. I don't think we should be getting her help. She seems. Like she's breaking rules. Well, I suppose we've broken rules as well. We just need to get out. I just rules that we break. In, in her defence, there's supposed to be a big crystal at the top. It's pretty nice. Oh, oh it's, it's nice. 
it's lovely, it's lovely. I thought it would look great on my mantelpiece and I just well my pile of wood. Um okay, well ethical like compass aside, um we 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 do need to get out and I think you're our best bet right now. Um and we don't want any trouble any more trouble from Atlas. Um, we just want to leave this place. Yeah, we just we just want to get out. And where what? Where is the airship going? Are there lots of different airships? Is it? Can we just pick where to go? Mm -hmm. Parkland is not so easy, but uh, I think I mean the names like yours probably wouldn't be too tricky. Well, we need to get to Corellan's Wood. Oh, oh well, that's where you need to go. What? You're really not very good at being discreet, and that is coming from someone who is covered in stuff. If you don't tell the airship where you're going, but we how don't need to tell does it get them. there? Or if them has a name. All right. Yeah, it's got uh, that boss. Yeah, okay, we need to get to Corellan's Wood. All right, well. Uh, we don't, we don't want to yell it. Listen, like, there's nobody. Lily has no idea why she's being secretive. It's just <laughs> this feeling like of. Like, she feels like she should. <laughs> they said last episode needs to know basis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that was yeah. only because of what we would have told him to say. It changed the tone of everything. There's literally no, like, reason that she wouldn't be, like, it's oh, not no. like they're, they're just getting back to Frayne's family and she's perfectly happy to, like... Yeah. <laughs> well, there are several, actually. Uh, I mean, I don't want really to be crass or nothing. Uh, there are several mermaid airships docked at the uh, 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 the sky spire at any given moment. I didn't know they'd gone into. Well, maybe I I don't really interact with with the business side of things because the last time I did, um, um, there was a lot of damage, um, and and I I got kicked out. Um, but oh, okay. Well, do are any of the are any of my family around? Question. We will circle back to the you not knowing the economics that your family gets into, and you don't know that your family has Listen, airships. I know that they are in, they are constantly expanding the business, and and I maybe knew that they had a airship, but that was just like the family airship. How they would like get to the plug hole yeah, when they needed both. to. <laughs> like, like, surely, if I didn't family, know they. If they have the corporation, then you get some sort of like. I didn't know they had a fleet of airships most of the time the our airship is parked at home so that we can get from where we need from home but surely you'll be able to get free passage on your airships well maybe but i didn't know the airships existed and that they belonged to my family that's the issue i am taking are any of the learnings around uh well uh oh you well the locks came through here a couple of days ago Oh, really? Oh, how was he seeming? Fine. So he had uh, a party to go to, actually. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, he does love a party. More so recently. He's been going on a bit of a bender. I'm hoping that the next time I see him, we'll be able to kind of, like, figure out what his path is, you know, because he, like... Well, I, it's not really my story to tell. Like, he's he's suffered a bit of a loss, and, and he's been going through some stuff. Well, would anyone here, like, know where to find Lost Mernick? Like, surely if he can vouch for you to get on Oh, it. yeah, no, he's really good at, like, talking himself into and out of situations, so I'm sure he'd be able to, like, sort things out for us. Oh, well, since I saw him, but, I mean, how, how sneaky is a Mernick in a city? Not very. Well, no, we tend to draw attention to ourselves, him more than others. He's a bit happier about, like, spreading, like, talking about how he's a learning. I don't really get it myself. Hmm. Well, that's a certain privilege, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you know, we've got a free, sh free passage onto an airship. I guess it's uh, something good to come out of it. Well, you know... I can't say for certain, but I think, you know, if the owner's daughter, hypothetically, were to come up to me and it were my ship, probably let him on board. Well, that's good to know. Looks like you'd have to adopt some of your brother's, hey, I'm a Mernig, sort of attitude for a bit. Okay, um, and she's gonna kind of... <laughs> <laughs> she's not right now, 
but <laughs> yeah, okay. Like, she well, she was about. She was trying to sort of like change her posture a bit and remember. Like Locks used to sort of strut around, so she was kind of gonna like punch, push her chest out a bit and like and sort of duck walk a bit, like sort of a cowboy impression. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Um, yeah. Well, so where are they parked? Uh, parked. Oh, there's only one place. You can't have a ship going over the, the city. Uh, the, uh, the the sky. You the sky pier. Sky pier with uh, Blizzard, right? Why? I don't know Blizzard well myself. I've got to be honest, but I I know that's sort of where they are. All based. Team in the folks. Yeah. Lucky for you. Oh. Lucky for. Well, lucky. Know of a couple of faces on a couple of boards. Um, <laughs> Ariana tries, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like you, you could have, you, you were going to do something shady at the spire that belongs to the Seven, so back to the Paradise Wall, could that be what's going to happen to you if you get caught? I'd rather not think about it, but well, I, I mean, yeah. At the moment, I'm got, I'm on uh, the big man's good side. So, at the moment, we won't speak of that. All right. Let's just. Uh... Well, so is it? Well, could you take us to like the vicinity of where the airships are docked, and then and then we can potentially make our own way? Because I don't want you to get into more trouble. I mean, I suppose. Yeah, like I guess you... I guess one end. If I go there and get caught, I'm screwed. On the other end, if I don't get you there, and you guys are still in the pug hole and Atlas hears about it, I'm screwed. It's not really a particularly win-win situation for Oriana, and I'm a little bit sad got, about it. And we've still got to find Torin and and Frame. Well, they're in the office. But they still got to find us. As in, oh, we've got to like either we've got to. Maybe, okay. Can we even here's get a, into the office without Here's Harry? an idea. No, we can't. So, maybe we go to the, we go to the airship place and, and I will, um, persuade them to, um, uh, have me and my friends, because I'm a Mernig, and she's gonna, like, try and be all cool and it just doesn't pull off. Um, and, and tell them that, well, I we've got to have passage um to where we want to go um but they have to wait for us ha ha and so we're gonna go we can then go and tell them to wait and then we can go back to the back to Arian and then see if he's okay and then we could go and see if if he hopefully he's awake by then and then he can take us back to the office and then we can all go back together to the airship. So you're gonna secure us a private airship. Um, are you okay to get us to that district? I've, I've disguised myself a couple of times, I can, I can do it again. No worries. Just a, out of, out of question observation, what's those little runes are on your fingers there? No, that was to get us out, we can't get back in with them. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry for Mary and <laughs> So as far as we're concerned, Brain and Toy, Brain and Toy can get out if they want, but they're yeah. not that stupid. Um, <laughs> no. no, they would dare, dare they would do that. travel across a city in um, a journey, <laughs> a date, one might say, <laughs> and then aggress a minotaur. That could be nasty. Try, yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, so they're in the office. They can get out if they want to, but they're not that stupid. No. Um, we can't get in because Arian's got like all the magic. <gasps> Wait, if he doesn't have his magic, then can he not? Can he not get in to the office? Will they starve? Have they got enough oxygen? I think... No, so I... Well, no, I, I, I think that, that it's not... That he, hmm. Well, so, um... Well, the <gasps> artificer, Galastin, will have, um... What was the one the... who designed the office, I think, or helped him. How tied is the office to Arian's magic? That's what I was just thinking. So, like, if Arian's magic goes, maybe the office... <laughs> what did you call me? <laughs> 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 okay. Right, so maybe 
maybe we need to go to the office and make sure it's there. So what do we do first? Do we go and secure an airship or do we go to the office? Um, so we should finish our drinks, to be honest. No, I'm very confused. Oh yeah, so sorry podcast. <laughs> we're very aware that we're visual these days, so this it's, is... it's totally said take a drink. We all took a massive gulp. And that'll be that silence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I maybe we should go. <laughs> Are you alright there, Oriana? So you drink, you swallow. Um, um, so it seems like you need to get out of the city pretty quick. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have a way of I don't know, send a message or? We can or... send a message to um to Ger- I keep forgetting his name, yeah, Gerstin. Maybe should we message? Should we message? Message? Should we should we call Jack Gerstin and see if see how things are doing with with oh. Arian? Suppose so. But what's the idea? What, we go ahead and then tell the others to catch up with us? I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to leave without them. Um, do we, hmm. Well, no one's going to force you on an airship. You don't go no. in there and they're not like, get on the airship and you have to go. You Why go don't we out. go to the airship, find out if there are any going spare and if I can like, Secure one. Secure one with my manicness and then um and then we can go from there. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Loads of brain these ones, aren't they? Oh yeah, it's We've uh, been through a lot today, okay? To be fair, they do they have seemed to have gone through some stuff. And I still haven't been able to sit on some grass. Is there uh, any grass on the way to the airships? Well, no. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I've if made. Is honest. I've made some. I've made my peace. I know I won't see grass for a while, oh, but I'm just saying it's We're been a while. We're going to a place called a wood that's adjacent to Feywild. So I know. I I'm first. I'm holding out for the wood. On your way back to the office, uh, could you stop by Minen Grove. Minen Grove. Oh, just the sound of it sounds lovely. Okay, well, right, we'll go to the airship first, and then we'll go to the office and, and maybe maybe stop by the Grove. But it's, listen, I don't want to prioritise my own needs above the group. I didn't exist, I really need grass. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the final fix? The, um... Yeah, go to the air, go find an airship, yeah. But, yeah, we're, we want to, so you're, you're going to disguise yourself. Yeah, it's, it's it shouldn't be too difficult, just... The um, what would you say the time has been since uh, combat with the rats? Has any of this constituted short rest wise? Uh, obviously, nothing strenuous has happened, but then obviously, there's been a lot of high stress and anxiety, <laughs> yeah. trauma, yeah. Um, walking, <laughs> lack of grass. Yeah, yeah. Lack of grass. yeah. yeah. I got some water though, you, so that's fine. You could stay here. For about half an hour longer, and have that constitute as a long rest. Uh, short rest, fine. Okay. So, that, I'm more than happy for that to happen. Mm-hmm. Okay. How about we chill for a bit, mm-hmm. finish these drinks? Yeah. Um, I might need another cup of tea. If I can just rest a little bit more, if we run into any trouble, I'll be able to defend you to a point. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm, I can defend myself a bit. But, you know, obviously. I mean, I'm not too bad. I'll I'll do my best. Aren't you, like, ten hit points? No, I've... I've, I've, Oh, you 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 licked yourself with a dog, yeah. yeah. Unnecessarily long licking. (laughs) (laughs) That was it. Um, So tight off. Yeah, yeah, there it is. You knew I'd get it. Well, yeah, I'm sure I'm like, obviously you can handle yourself. Um, that's how you feel. Um... Yeah. But it just feels like if you're going to be risking yourself first, the least we can do is um, protect you as well. Absolutely. I mean, I can handle myself, but against the seven, it might be a little bit of a different matter. My usual so. defending myself is just against just guards or other uh, criminals or, you know, that kind of thing. 
This place doesn't seem very nice. It's no. not to leave. Um, so uh, if you take any benefits in the short rest, you might want uh, you can only hit dice to return back to HP. Um, I mean, yeah. I. I'm very she kind of. Popped up. Yeah, uh, she, she licked me. me. She licked me clean. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, I'm close enough. Thank you. Yeah. Well, with that nice going forward. <laughs> I guess we should probably be going to uh, to to Glidwin then, yeah. or outskirts of. Well, it's been an absolute yeah. Uh... Yeah. Well, thanks for help, uh, Vapos. Uh, you've it's been. Glub glub. Vapos. Thanks for help, Glub Glub. <laughs> um, and uh, thanks again for the. For the lending of that money, I swear I will pay you back. I definitely will. Oh no, we will. Uh, yes. Just be careful. I will, don't worry. And, uh, you know, if anything does go a bit south, it's been, uh, been good knowing you. Thanks for all the help. Okay, son. It's been my pleasure. Look after us. With our lives, Prince Janice and the, again, Jenny Flex. Go. <laughs> but when, when every time when uh, Vapos bows again to to Janaeus, the second time, the first time maybe not, but the second time she kind of Oriana looks a little bit guilty that she kind of didn't do it when she first met Janaeus. <laughs> she was like, she was like, oh, it's just some guy. Yeah. And she was, she was a prince. Like, oh, it's just some prince. And now he's like saying, oh yeah, yeah, I'll protect you if everything comes to pass, despite that he's known for five minutes. <laughs> like, she's kind of a bit touched, and then he's been really nice. Hey, she's like, oh. It's at least an hour and five minutes now. Yeah. <laughs> at least. Um, yeah, So you make your way. So Speaking yeah. of, I need a bit of a rules update in yes, terms sir. of spells. Is Do they get rebooted after a short rest or a long rest? Short rest if you're a wallop. And long rest if you're everyone else. Yeah. Kraken. <laughs> Kraken. Fought one of those once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> once a week. Yeah. Right, so yeah, you, you make your way across the city. Uh, no more horror walls for you. Just the one. Just the one Great, thank uh, God. I'll just add it to um, and yeah, so you swing round from the sort of southeast to the south, um, and you come to this. Well, you've been here before. This beautiful dot, essentially. Uh, it's all white stone uh, and these long piers leading out to this very, very calm bit of ocean with a sort of like <clears throat> natural made um, sort of like cats. Uh, what are they called? They're, they're, you know, they're Cliffs? Yeah, the cliffs, but they 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 the mountains? No, naturally they they could make more of, it's like oh, colour like a cat's eye or something. It's where ships come in and keep it safe from like storms, blood breakers. Bay. We'll go with bay. Yeah. <laughs> there's, yeah. A, there's a title, there's a word. Someone in the comments put a, pro a proper nautical thing. That's a bit. Throffing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> surprise I haven't like heard anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a I'll find out another yeah. one. Uh, yeah, uh, but basically, um, it's and, and then at the end of that is this huge gate, a gate out of the city that leads out of the city. Um, but yeah, you, so you can see all of that from the edge, and um, Oliana stops you at the edge of this sort of going onto the wet market where you find your vegetables and mm -hmm. leading up to the sea where you had your brief little swim. Cool. Oh, I remember this place. You can get really good vegetables over there. I can, I can imagine this is a bit more of the uh, bit of the nice, nicer area of the plug on. So, like, since we're here, like exploring options out of the plug hole, why don't you leave? I, I wish it was that simple. Do you know how much I absolutely love to live? You not live in the plug hole, especially where I am. Um, but I've got all those kids. I, they depend on me if, if I'm not there. They're all rules. No, no, they're not. They're not. No, not not biologically. No speaking. judgment. I've got eleven brothers and sisters. <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, I, I I like a bit of fun, but not 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 any not consequences afterwards. Um, you know, no, they they're not my kids. They're then they are my kids, but they're not mine. They're just. You know, your adopted family. Yeah, 
they're like me. They they don't have parents, mm. uh, so to speak. They're just they're the lost and found of the plug hole, basically. And you know, oh, I need to be. I need to look after them. Need to make sure that they're going to be all right. You know, and make sure that they have food and a place to live and clothes and even if it does mean getting that stuff and more less than legal places I guess you could say but yeah I I, I would leave but I just what you've done is an incredible thing and I understand you have responsibilities that you can't shirk off and shy away from however like there has to be some reward at the end of this. There has to be something that you work towards. Or, or what's the point in it? So, like, you know, take the one with the slingshot and the attitude. Um, right. Make them, yeah, you know. Do you think but, he's got attitude? Meet Jade, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, as he grows up and he's going to be probably a fine young man, a great warrior, you're going to need to pass the reins on. You need to make sure that there is a payoff to your happiness at the end of this. Fran's not a warrior. He, he acts the part, but he's not. He, none of them are. I don't want him to be like that. I don't want him to grow up to be like me. I want to grow up and have careers and stuff. You know, Fran's a very talented baker. Nice. Aww. Yeah, I don't want him to be running around the streets, wasting all that talent, trying to steal from people to look after the kids. That's what I do. And, you know, I can't I don't want him to end up like me. It's it wouldn't be wouldn't be fair on him. Janaeus is just genuinely touched because like the simplest the simpleness of his mind of just like you're just, not happy. Just don't just don't, don't be there. Yeah. Go and be happy somewhere else and um, responsibility. What mm. even though like he's got an impending responsibility of his own, he's really ignoring all of that because all that matters is the right here and the right now. Um, so it, it, that's bringing up sort of like thoughts for him as well, and yeah, he just kind of even though like he kind of does have to imagine his life being accountable and responsible for a lot of others, he can't imagine that, and he's just caught being faced with it. And yeah, so he's just going to be quietly reflecting the conversation and just very, very in awe of Oriana. Well, um, yeah, I think we're going to have to where I uh, leave you, I, I guess. Um, yeah, I wish I could come some further, but you know, and I wish you know, be nice to meet your mates, and I hope your uh, your dead mate wakes up. Uh, I mean, he usually he's, does. Yeah, he's normally very awake and vocal, even when dead. Yeah. Oh wait, which one? Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, we've currently got two dead friends. You uh, you aren't dead. You dot to dot, dead mate. Yeah. Hope he's all right. Oh yeah, he's not as vocal. Um, and then the other one. He he's very vocal <laughs> as well. What you know? I hope they both wake up. You know, no one likes a dead friend. Uh, That's an ideal. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I. Uh, it was. Uh, it was nice to meet you too. Thanks for your help. And uh, you know, if uh, things clear up and your shapeshifter person you know stops uh, stealing your identity maybe you could uh, you can come back and uh, visit your old mate Ariana yeah you can go definitely. on that pub call but you know oh yeah it, on your pub call if you keep a look out for locks because he, he's probably going to be frequenting the bars if he's not back home yet he'll be about yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye out I'll make sure I do yeah he's I'll, a bit uh, taller than me kind of dark swooshy hair and lots of piercings because he went through a rebellious phase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll keep it Generally like. shirtless, but with a jacket on top. Oh, that could you be really like so him, many people, to be honest. Sounds hot. Yeah, I mean, I can't comment. <laughs> 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 yeah, so uh, as you say your goodbyes, um, your friend watches them leave, waiting for the sunset. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna just sort of like, yeah, just kind of watch and she's gonna just head back, I guess, because there's not really much else that she can do. Except for. I kind of want them to have like a moment as like they both like walk away from each other and both sort of stop and look over their shoulder and sort of sigh. 
or like miss each other. Like she looks back and then they like, turns away, and then we look back and turn away. And it's just too much. Um, so yeah, so Lily and Janaeus um, start you start making your way across the the Glidwin, uh, and the, the mark, it, it's getting late. Um, the 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 sun in the sky has pretty much set. It's that sort of like blue orange, just just before it goes fully down. Um, but it's quite easy to tell which of the buildings is uh, the sky spire. That uh, sky spire, sorry. And there is this huge, um, like. Uh, white stone tower with moorings coming off of it, so they're at like anchor points. That these uh, ships, they're just like they look like um, normal uh, galleons and boats, but they have a multitude of sails coming off of them, uh, sort of like wings and below them and uh, above them is huge billowing. They're like, like strange dragons or or some kind of uh, mythical flower. Um, and you make your way over towards the, the, the sky pier. It's very easy to do, and the group in itself doesn't seem to have shut now that it's dark. The uh, lanterns have come on, and uh, there's a singing in the, uh, in the square as people start turning from what was like a uh, bustling sort of business town to sort of a bit more relaxed. There's still trade going on, but it's, it's sort of more like uh, informal and, um, you know, tip for tap rather than sort of business, business, business. Um, but yeah, we, after you sort of uh, hustle your way through the crowds and make your way through the street, you end up at the base of the sky pier. Um, and there's a, a large, beautiful gilded door, sort of carved oak with like, um, yeah, uh, like wrought iron outside, with uh, gilded sort of lining, making it look really, really quite stunning, to be honest. Um, and yeah, it's a, you, you, you've arrived. <laughs> Is there anyone we could talk to? And that's both Lily saying it and also asking you. Janice pushes the door. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, if you go in, the actual base looks fairly um, simple. There's a, a couple of desks either side, and there appears to be what looks like a, a, a door at the back with like a, a lifting mechanism above it. Um, and there are two sort of tired looking goblins on either desk. Um, they've got like a, a blue uniform on and like a little blue hat that comes down. One of them is more than tired looking and is pretty much asleep at the <laughs> at the helm. Uh, and, and the other one sort of has eyes and Oh! Oh, hello! Hi! Oh. And Lily will, she'll sort of totter over to him. Hello! Um, oh, wait, and she's going to turn back to Janaeus and be like, how, how, how do you be like, um, sort of, like you own the place. Stop apologising for taking up space and remember it's your right to be here. <laughs> well, what did you ask for you? <laughs> 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 and she's just gonna be like, Hello, I would like an airship, please. Right, airship. Uh, that's absolutely no problem, you're in the right place. Uh, so, door at the end, uh, press the button for 13. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on the 13 on it. I figured. Yeah, some people don't get it, you'd be surprised. Oh. Uh, and it will take you up. Anyone, most people up there have an airship, or know of an air, there's a lot of airships up there. But we want to sort of, we want to book one in advance, Yeah. and then and then go and get our friends. Okay. Uh, do we do that with you or on the 13th floor? Okay. Might be okay. best to ask someone. Come on, there. come on, Jen. We've got to go to floor 13. Cheers. Cheers. And um, yeah. Right. Uh, so yeah, you go, the lift. you go into this little wooden um, box, essentially, in, in this door, and you press the button for 13, uh, and you see um, like a series of lights go up above you, uh, and you just hear a Going up! <laughs> something is just hauling you up. Um, I feel like there's a mechanical way this could be done. I'm sure we've got something like that back home. Or like a magical way. That'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll be out of a job! <laughs> oh, sorry! Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's going. <laughs> Pulling you up and up and up and up and up the side sky fire. Until eventually you come out into this like um very large sort of donut shaped room. The the, the, the pillar that you came up uh, with in, in the little wooden box 
it's on the central point and there's this huge sort of yeah circular room um that there doesn't seem to be much in the way of like barriers like off the side there are um just like loads of different like moorings with ships like jetties going out to ships um there is sort of just facing away from you there seems to be like a huge large cabin um which is probably the only sort of like safe space uh, <laughs> it's not sort of, you know, it's safe from the elements kind of thing. This is just very much like... The and also floor. safe to explore your emotions, yeah. your feelings, yeah, yeah, your yeah, yeah, expressions yeah, yeah. of self. Yeah, if you're having uh, any sort of anxiety attack or anything, please go here. Yeah. This is the most case point for it. Um, we won't judge. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's this whole host of different kinds of people, different airships. Um, and it doesn't take long to see one or two with the M logo on it, the, the Mernig logo. And she's just gonna, she's gonna poke Janaeus. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, they were right. That's, that's one of the, oh, that's, oh, they've upgraded the design. That's, oh, it's, oh. And she's, as as much as she, like, has issues with her family, she loves them so much. Yeah, and she's so pretty, excited. Pretty. Um, um, so he's, uh, Janaeus, like, as, as, as Lily's having this, um, this thing, he's just looking around to see if there's anybody that's, like, Standing around the Murney airships, uh, like representatives. Of... Yeah, so it doesn't take long. Uh, there, there aren't many sort of uh, passengers around. You know, it's quite late, uh, and as you clock eyes of this person, this this being at the edge of the um, Murney platform, they clock eyes with both of you, and you just hear, "Wally!" <laughs> 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 and this little gnome, uh, dressed, it got like a little sort of pilot's hat on, and it's very sort of official looking. Um, like jacket just runs up to you, <laughs> oh, uh, and like, as they get close, you, the um, like it stops dead, like squ like squeals to a halt in front of you. They've sprinted and stopped and skidded like the last sort of two feet. Um, one of their eyebrows is just constantly changing color, <laughs> and um, yeah, it looks like they're missing one or two fingers as well. It's like Lily, oh my god, I haven't seen you since. Since the injury days! Uh, and before you is um, Gombri Choff. A, uh, they, they were an intern at the time that you were working for the Medic <laughs> Medic Corporation. Oh my god! <laughs> my goodness! Gombri, oh how are you? I'm a flight liaison now! Oh my god, that's so exciting! What? Last much longer than you. Uh, they didn't really like me in the uh, in the workshops. <laughs> no, I think we caused enough trouble there. Oh, well, yeah, this has never gone. <laughs> Thanks. Oh well, that was snap because after the whole issue with locks of my hair, like I'm stuck like this oh, as well. Well, I never tried to get rid of this because you did. Oh, I mean, really? Oh, I'm. So, I mean. I mean, she was she was gonna say like, "How have you been?" But she's gonna take in the missing fingers and kind of. Hmm. Oh, these were, these were before. I'm doing so much better now. Oh, that's great. Are you keeping out of trouble now, or is have you like? Who's your friend? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, so this is this is Janaeus. Hi. He's hi. He's my really good friend. And Janaeus, this is Gombri Trough. Gombri Trough. Gombri Trough. Gombri Trough. Gombri Trough. He's Gombi. <laughs> One of the, the brothers, or no, 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 no. We just he, they we were. We, he was an intern back at house because mom and dad wanted me to like try and experience what it's like being in like the part of the team and everything. Um, so we were working in the in the in the work workshops together. We were both worst employees of the month, three years running. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't feel like a victory. Well, so I we, we were both. We, so I'm like I'm I'm actually I'm pretty savvy. We just I didn't like any of the things that they were making. So we would um, that thing we said earlier. Yeah, there yeah. would be some some sabotage. Oh, uh, <laughs> and also remember when we was like a big explosion. You were actually intentionally messing with your parents' business. We would never do that. Never do that ever. But in a million years. No. <laughs> Mernig, are you lying? No. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you? Also, we're trying to. We need an airship. I've got an airship. Oh my goodness, this is so like it was meant to be. Um, right? So, we're. Yeah, we. Me and, me and Janaeus, <laughs> who are incapacitated at the moment. <laughs> Traveling together, and we've been like traveling together, and we made friends with these 
other people. Um, and and we need to get because my other friend Frame, she's like, oh my goodness, you would love her. What well, she's she's proper rebellious and doesn't care about about anything, and she's really pink. Wow. Yeah. And really pink. Really pink. Really pink. Everything <laughs> she wears is pink, and 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 she's got an accent that I've tried copying, but she tells me off for doing it. And it's a bit naughty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not very good at it. Um, but she needs to get her. She's she's a lady, right? In that she's like and he's a man. Yeah. <laughs> he's a prince. So this is anyway. Prince, this is Prince Janaeus and then Lady Frame, but she doesn't like being called Lady Frame. She just likes being called Frame. And then there's Torin, who calls Frame Loctacus. So I feel this could go on for a while. <laughs> we need to get to Corellan's wood. Yeah. Oh. Well, right. But we we need to like basically put an airship on hold if that's okay, and um, then go and get them, and then we can come back. Yeah, we need to reserve an airship. Yeah, if we could like Lenny. book in a slot. I mean, I was meant to leave for Durant tomorrow, but uh, I could, I could not. I, I mean, <gasps> would that inconvenience a lot of would people? That, yeah, would that mean, be an inconvenience? Stuff, stuff happens all the time. Could I mean, they be <laughs> like? <laughs> it, it, it's kind of your birthright. Could what? Well, uh, could they be diverted onto a different airship that could do a bit of a... Well, we'll we'll just go buy a Krellin's one and take them there. And... Yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah. That's absolutely fine. That, that works sounds out. good. We right. can, we can... I'm like, sure they're close by. We can, like, cargo. It, it, how big is the It'll world? be great. It's a little bit of a wolf leg, I'm not going to lie. Okay. <laughs> well, I, 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 sorry. I deserve... I. This is... I have a right to having... <laughs> She's very Austrian. She's very you, you sound like locks. I know, isn't it weird? <laughs> so weird. Imagine if I was not just like, yeah, I'm just gonna come in and like, um, you know, do like this is my airship now. <laughs> yeah. Don't breathe. Get off the get off the boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So where where are you guys staying? Well, we're we're not really sure. We think our, where we were staying has now cease to exist oh. yeah um we 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 need to go and check well yeah why don't i mean it's pretty why don't you stay here tonight and check in the morning oh that, that would be a good shout that would be, yeah because i don't really want to risk going back in the dark i don't think yeah, i Harry can remember probably the use way the time to recover absolutely yeah i mean the streets aren't great not gonna lie no. some people are real mean yeah we've encountered some of them <laughs> We encountered a ratty man! A ratty man! Yeah. Wow! What was he like? Ratty! Ratty? Yeah! Oh no! He wasn't very nice to us and we sort of like killed him, but we're not, we won't, we won't, it's, it's fine. I'll be honest, I don't really leave the tower very often when I'm here. Oh really? So you do must not do recommend. loads of, you must do loads of travelling now that you're an airship pilot. I've been most of the world. Oh wow! In that I've been here in Durant several times. <laughs> <laughs> What's Durant like? Oh, it's lovely. It's a mountain kingdom. Uh, you'd like it there. There's loxodons and there are orcs, and they live in harmony. Oh, it's peaceful. Oh, that sounds lovely. Oh, that sounds maybe, refreshing. Maybe we could go there after Corellan's Wood for a holiday. I mean, from what I understand, it's like kind of snowy, which is. Ace, oh, bring a coat. It's very snowy up there. Oh, okay. Oh. Ian built coats. We got coats on the on the ship. Okay. Well, that could be exciting. But I think we're we get we're getting off topic now. We're going off piece. Oh my God, that's a snowing joke. I know. <laughs> You're you're hilarious. Oh well, we've had good times. We you are pretty funny too. Well, you know? no, I'm not Lily Merlin. No, that will stop it. Uh, so, I mean, there's a, you can take the cabin right here. Uh, Don't you need to sleep somewhere? I mean, I'll sleep on the ship. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that would be great. It, it's, I mean, it, it, it's nothing special. It's no, no more than family home. Or oh, listen, these days I'm not really, I, did, I got a little bit overwhelmed by all of the pomps and circumstance of the, of, of home. I much preferred it in the, in the sum, in the summer house where it was like more, more tree-like. Yeah, and to be honest, not sleeping on a wet bit of moss, um, no offence, um, it, it, it's always preferred. Well, that's my well, 
I mean, it's my favourite also. Yeah. Well, get a load of this we guy. Went, we went camping all the time and I would find the best moss to sleep well, on. Well, you would find the greatest moss in the I'm a home. moss aficionado. Mr. Mar is better for having Lily Murray <laughs> around. Thank you. You are most welcome. You're a mean man. No, he's not. <laughs> he just has particular... He's a prince. He has very particular... I'll take that back. <laughs> <laughs> so... Ah, right. Well, ah, your folks must be must be tired, right? We are a bit pooped. It's been a day. Yeah. Well, we didn't exist at one point. Uh, That's a story I've got to hear. Um, no, never mind. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's been such a day. We felt like yeah, we, we felt we like lost part of ourselves. Exactly that. Yeah. What he said. It's all right. Once I got fired from the Rennie Corporation, my parents presented that I didn't exist as well for. I mean, they're still playing that game, oh, but yeah. it's gonna end eventually. I nope. feel like I get that sometimes. But all the well. moaning about our parents, like other people seem to have it much worse than we do. Yeah, they really do. Right. Well, <laughs> thanks for your sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could like, I, I could send. We could like let them know that you're doing really well now. You're a proper pilot and everything. Yeah, and that eyebrow is so cool. <laughs> it's like. A vivid shade of red right now. <laughs> it's amazing. It's a proper like um stance. I mean, a flight liaison's no job for a gnome, Lily. We're, we're down on the ground, folk. But uh, I don't like it up here. I'm not gonna lie. You use awful nice. You're breaking the mold. Mold. That's a fungus joke. Yeah! <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> so the cabin's just um, the, the cabin's just through here. Uh, awesome. Uh, you guys just like. Catch up. Have oh, a yeah. swell time. We've uh, got so I mean, much to catch up on. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, we got a long ship ride. We can catch up That's on the ship. true. Oh, you're going to be flying the ship. Oh, As today as he walks off, ship. his face is just like, <laughs> how many hours of this is there going to be? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're, we've got we've got plenty of time to chat and catch up. Um, I think for now we need to we need to get some rest. All right. Um, and then he, yeah, he leads you into the cabin, and it's um, it's sort of like a departure lounge. There aren't really any beds as much as there are like several sort of comfy looking sofas. Um, there are like little urns that have uh, like snacks in, and th there is actually a couple of bottles of water, like actual like. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> Fancy. Um, so yeah, it, it's not too bad. There are, there's a, a basket of blankets beside, uh, and there are a couple of stations or uh, like places where you could prepare maybe some some of the snacks to make it a bit more homely. Um, yeah, and he's in the uh, so Dumbly stands in the door for He's like, "Well, if you need anything, uh, you know where I am. I'm just gonna be on the boat. Uh, it's fine." Uh, and wait, wait, which one? I don't know you saw me at. I'm at the maelstrom. Okay. Right. Writing down Maelstrom. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help and hospitality, man. That's that's quite all right. Oh, it's so good to see you. Oh, Lily, you have no idea. Uh, and he closes the door behind him. Uh, and yeah, you. Yeah, you're just in this room. Um, just pretty chill. Relax. Lily will she'll shove two of the she'll shove two of the sort of sofas together. Um grab a blanket, grab like a packet of if there's like a packet of nuts or something, yeah. she'll grab that, go and basically make herself a nest yeah. and just sit in it and like eat her nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and Denise is just like lounging on one um with a blanket. So like everyone in shuffle stumps like that? Um Particularly, um, we, we weren't as um, included um, with everyone else as as everyone else was included by everyone else. Um, but to be honest, I don't know, Dad's pretty excitable. Um, Mum's a bit more serious. I suppose it's the same as with any group of people. We're not all like the same. Um, but we had we got we were really close because we both felt like a bit of like not too sure about where we stood in like the formalities of society. Well, it kind of sounds like everybody else has lost me. 
Oh no! Well, three and an eighteen. Oh, oh no, I've got six on there. Um, so yeah. Oh, hang on, wait, what exception? <gasps> yeah, you've got good perception. Yeah, I do. Girl. So three. Uh, that's um, eleven. Oh, okay. So yeah, um, the back corner of this, the back wall of this room is actually like a window. So you can you can see out into the oh. out onto the Tombridge Dell, the public gate, the big huge sea thing. You can almost see over it, like onto the far- farthest sea. Um, and you, from outside the door, you hear like a, uh, it's like a like, morning, lovely morning, she's here. Um, um, that's right, morning. Um, and you see, like, ships on the, on the horizon. Uh, a yay, oh, or a, oh no, oh. Um, and, yeah, so that time passes, um, and the, the city itself, the glittering, starts to quieten down, um, you, you start to feel the throes of sleep take you. Pretty comfortable. Um, and then you hear the door open. Um, and standing there is Gombrin. Um, but a tall figure stands next to him. Uh, the hand is sort of resting on the top of her, of her shoulders and her neck. Uh, and there's this very old looking dark featured half elf and uh Gombridge goes, Oh no, I'm sorry if you killed me. <laughs> um and that's where we're gonna end the episode. Wait, what? Yeah. Ta da Lily, I'm sorry he killed me. He would have killed me. Oh. He would have. Oh okay. I was like, what kind of puppeteering shit? No more yeah. puppeteering no shit. No more puppets! Um, oh he my would have god. Killed me. Oh my god. So, half elf. Half elf. Old elf. Old half elf. Old? old half elf. Looks old. Sucks. Very old. Oh no. no. What's with the old no. elves? Ruining everything. No. Why? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> so, um. So, uh. <laughs> It's your end of session, right? Yes. <laughs> um, God, God, why, what, what do you even do after all of that? Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this show. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep up to date with our socials <laughs> by using the link tree below. <laughs> <laughs> to know what's coming and what's not. Um, obviously this week, um, Joey and he is having the best of times in Mexico with a young man, I believe. Um, ooh, I'm paused there as well. <laughs> um, so we don't have a magical because um, we're not going to do that. We're not so, nearly talented enough But there was to the Ross that. one that happened once and yeah. never again. Um, however, it's a bit of a special treat. We do have um, another sneak peek of Freak Show, which you would have heard at the beginning. Um, it will be coming to Apple and Spotify soon. So um, look out for that. Obviously, we'll be announcing and digging up that. Let's make Joy Amy like a chart topping yes. like, yeah. song. Yeah. Please. That would be amazing. The so, bardiest of bards. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, yeah, until then, folks, why don't you go out into the world, have the best time by rolling the Damn dice! Whoa! I got the name of our show wrong. <laughs> 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 <laughs>